Let's go. Hello, Chateau! It's Sundat, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens in Malta, the title race continues. Us versus Valletta, who can concede the most goals, but somehow also manage to score even more. Dick is banging them in. The other two strikers, whose names have completely escaped me up to this point, have also banged loads in this season. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation.
with Sirens of Malta. And we're dancing! I don't know what this is about. That, that went all right. That went all right. I don't, I don't mean to jinx it, chat, but that went all right. Piss drink time. Annoyingly competent. I'll take it. If I could be described in one way, I would choose to be described as annoyingly competent. Dick is banging. Of course he's banging. Morning, everybody. What a move. Nice moves. <laughs> what can I say? <clears throat> oh, now now my throat stuck. Tried my best <clears throat> not to ruin the intro. Three years of watching that. a silly man manage spreadsheets. He's done well there. He has done well there. I thought we might run into Mental Brian yesterday, but no. I was hoping I could introduce Mike to Mental Brian, but it didn't happen. Sag times. Let me just turn that down slightly. Oh, dear. An ironic Christian. Thank you very much for the 21 months as well. Crazy Brit, thank you for the 36. And there was definitely another one. And Thomas, thank you for the 26 as well. That's really, really nice of you. And now I can turn on the software so that the stream will work properly, but you can no longer sabotage me. Oh, it's like when the teacher takes away your uh, rulers. No more measuring things for you, chat. Oh, God damn it. Is that beer? No, because it's 10 in the morning. Uh, also, I, I say I'm not much of a beer drinker. I do like a nice beer, but I haven't had beer in a while, actually. I've been drinking a lot of gin lately. Oh, that's not true. When I have been drinking, I have been drinking gin. I haven't so much been many, drinking many a lot of gin lately. Of okay -ish streaming. Here's to another 39. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the 39 months. That is a wild amount. And now everything else should be working in the background, hopefully. United Boy as well. Thank you very much for the 11 months. That's wild. Thank you, friends. Alcoholic. Well, I mean, that... It does have alcohol in it. Yes. <laughs> spoons... This is true. Um, and I did... I was in a spoon yesterday. So... But it was in the afternoon. So it was fine. He's got his life together. I mean, if... It, that being said, there was a, a sort of... A Cambridge equivalent of Mental Brian that I we counted at a bus stop yesterday. So there's that. Go through and start. It depends, it I like. It's a big commitment to a, a, a building a nation save. They are extremely. You have to be very patient because it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's a lot of go. Oh god, yeah. The la to give you an idea, our last game of last stream finished seven five to us at least. But yeah, it's been a fun time. We score a lot. We can see a lot. Playing in Malta and somehow got Carl Walker Peters in season two. In season two, on a free. Okay, I love football. Maybe just just simmer it down a tiny little bit. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I need to focus it. I'm good. Uh, you're on. How are you, man? Oh yeah, no. So I saw Mike yesterday, and it was fun. So as for him violently shaking me, basically, uh, we went to grab a bite to eat in Weatherspoons yesterday afternoon after a, a nice little bit of shopping. Um, in, which did a little bit of shopping. Mike got some pants. I got some pants. We were all buying pants together. Chat, I have pants with giraffes on. Which, much like saxophone solos in a song, immediately makes everything that little bit better. You, you just can't go wrong. Were they each other's pants? I mean, I did buy his pants because we could get Pog spot, uh, staff discount. <laughs> Ooh, young man. I remember my <laughs> days man. as a siren. Now I can barely lure it in of War There's Originals. War There's Originals. Love it. Hard news. Thank you for the 20 months. I hope you're well. Oh, David Turnbull season two. Holy shit. Not bad. Pants Brothers. In a way, we kind of are. But yeah, no, they've got giraffes on. They're beautiful. They I had to pay a premium to get the giraffe pants. But like, your man's not going to turn them down. Yeah, I don't go commando. It would be uncomfortable in these jeans. Southern version of pants. What, giraffe pants? <laughs> Armour's cast. Thank you for the 100 bits. It's really nice of you, man. You've got to use the discount when you can, right? By the way, was working. No, Em was with us. Um, she wasn't working, although she was still doing... She was walking around the being like, oh, this needs to tidy. I'm like, bro, you're not working. Chill out, you know? <laughs> Multi-steam. Um, I haven't got to that stage yet, Ronan, and I know that it's more difficult this year in general. So get Ronaldo. Probably not going to do that, obviously. Um, but yeah. Charles was pants. Oh, really? I thought that was an American thing. Not specifically a northern thing. I don't think I've ever encountered a northern person that called them pants. I thought they just called them whatever. Like, just whatever. Johnny, thank you for the Matt, 19 chat. months. Jesus Christ. Any associated cats? It's been too many weeks as a VOD boy. Happy to see you all. Malta is not massive, but it will be dot. I wonder if that There's 7 to 5 goals. was any kind of league record. It would have had to have been, right? A different contrast. Really? Oh, fair enough. I guess I just don't spend enough time in the north. Okay. Buddy, are we going to have a problem? Because it just seems like you're being a little bit immature now. I realise well, we're not the most mature people, but th you have to have at least context for things rather than just saying random stuff. I hope you understand the vibes we have here because, you know, I don't want to have a problem. That's not fun. Sirens Gaming Ruler. Um, so hopefully, uh, one true sass, February. If I 
So I'm going out to Malta in February for the half marathon, and I'm hoping, praying, that Sirens are playing that weekend. If they're not, I'll just try to find another game to go to, because the multi schedule's kind of weird. And after Christmas, even in the game, actually, it gets quite spread out. And they haven't really... I can't seem to find any fixtures for, like, after Christmas. Well, you know, we're immature, but we do it... Purpose, it's purposeful immaturity. We have the right moments. So, for example, when Dick does something, or when we get Dick injured, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, Mike had an acca on BTTS in uh, four Premier League fixtures yesterday. And, obviously, going into, like, the latter stages of stoppage time between Sheffield United and Bournemouth, that was the only one that was left in his acca. And... He was literally, th this was the sentence that was coming out of his mouth. If these guys, like Bournemouth aren't that great. I was like, Mike, Sheffield United yeah, are not particularly great either. It's like, yeah, yeah, but if you can't oh, score yeah, against them, as short. he said that, yeah, it literally flashed up on his screen goal. Man just grabbed me and started violently shaking me in the bar next to him. So yeah, he did all right yesterday out of that. Not PC, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, man definitely wants to kiss Ollie McBurney after that. He was... And then there was a brief moment where it said suspended and he thought it was going to get disallowed by VAR. He should have seen his face. <laughs> Are they on now? Because when I looked before, George, it would only show, for some reason, pick fixtures for the first half of the season. I am his lucky charm. In many ways, I am. Man got pants out of it. Man got delicious coffee. He got um, some kind of weird thing from this bakery place we went to. It was a good day. I managed to find some clothes. That's a rarity for me whenever I go shopping. I normally walk in and go, yep, yeah, nope, not having any of that. But actually, there was some stuff I kind of like. So it was a good day in general, frankly. Bloody freezing as well. Mm. Just... <laughs> What, so he's still shaking me. Then he sees it disallowed and just slowly backs away casually into the corner. That seems about right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope... The thing is, with obviously being less fixtures... And the fact is, it doesn't matter whether they're playing home or away that weekend. Because Malta's not that big. I'll drive, you know? Watch some other match that's like scheduled directly in the middle of the half marathon. That would suck. I'll run to it. Should marry them. <laughs> if only... If only there was somewhere I could go about doing that. <laughs> Funny guy is here. Yes, you Glad are. Glad to be here to see the Malta climb. Sick Thank Matt you. Jam. Thank you for the three months, my man. That's very kind of you, sir. But like, exactly like the Homer Simpson meme, yeah. Mm. Also, Toby, I think... Th was that you on the YouTube video? Because I think... um, Someone on the YouTube video for the uh, suspensions thing said, wouldn't it be cool if in these videos, when you have these batshit databases, you actually try to manage a season in one of them each time to try to like get the most out of that new system and it might have been you i don't know but it might be something i'm gonna start doing in future just as a little fun thing because i reckon i actually could have won the premier league using that system provided i'd gone like with a re i'd use this tactic put like stay on feet on every player ease out of tackles on every single thing just to try to get as many few cards as possible we'd be crap at first but then as the other team started losing players you just start to bombard them with goals and i actually think it can be done part of me was even thinking about making a third channel just to put random shit like that on it as individual videos occasionally right well, there you go. Yeah, it's something I'm definitely going to take into consideration because I was looking through my um, <clears throat> video notes file last night with Pog just to think of some ideas for coming the next couple of months. And I realized I had some ideas in there that I had completely forgotten that I even thought of. There was some crazy shit in there, which is going to be really fun. No, it was all cards. Um, like, it, it was all cards young got you Matt, a one season there's ban, a place basically. you can go. Ooh. I say, young Matt, it's called Malta. It is. You know, dot, I say, young Matt. It's time to build a nation and there's no need to be unhappy. Dot, da, 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 dot. It's fun to watch the stream of SYC. <laughs> it's fun to watch the stream of SYC. Callous Whisper is making this You better. can hear some bad puns, niche football trivia, and get a smile back on your face. Don't know about the last bit. And that's just because you just hate me winning. Um, So, the Patreon regions are through. Also, I managed to fix Caps one. Um, So, there was a few. Weirdly, it wouldn't let me change the name. Uh, he has now, I've managed to change the nationality to match all the other stuff, but it wouldn't let me change the name for him, which is really weird. So it turns out RTE, you can only set names of players to existing names in the database. You have to like search for the name and then add it. And if you try to change the name, it changes the name of every person with that name, which I always thought was very strange. It's just as well I noticed that though, otherwise every player in the database called David would have ended up becoming called Cap, uh, which I actually don't mind in a way. That would have been funny. Is that an FM thing? Is it? Interesting. So yeah, that's why. But luckily, I have managed to fix it as best I can, though, because I did feel horrible about that. So Cap, if you're watching this on the VOD, you should be fixed, which is good stuff now. Um, because that that was just like I knew that I'd up, I knew I ended up missing one, and I don't know how I ended up doing that. But it's just yeah, changes re relates to yeah. I guess it's because it's editing like a essentially a giant sheet, isn't it? And it's those things are just being linked to it almost like um like backlinks kind of thing. So it's just taking like a a proxy almost. <clears throat> 
Oh dear, right. Okay, let's get off of my big face once I've just sorted out this song request. Hopefully these all went through without a problem. Uh, if they didn't, I would like you to tell me if they didn't. I don't think your first season, uh, Thomas, because I think we looked last time. Everton region faces, well, we can't fix them. They are, that is thing, that's the game, not something I can control. However, the latest patch that's apparently coming in December, I think should fix that. Because I believe that's one of the things they talked about in it, was it not? What's wrong with the big face? I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, you need to change your name to my big face and then we'll talk. Maximum song length. Oh, shit. Um, my bad. In that case, um, pick another song and I'll just do it for free. If you have the points as well, then request it and I can cancel the points so it balances out. If you don't have the points available, then just tell me the song and I'll add it manually. Wasn't here a couple of No, we've done um so we did the transfer stream, which was basically we didn't play any games because we were just building an entirely new squad. And now we did like a big chunk of games in the last stream, which we got us up to yeah, nine games into the season. We're absolutely clapping it. Still not top of the league, but we're doing okay. I think our only defeat actually oh yeah. Our only defeat was that horrendous game against Marsa, where they scored five goals off of an XG of like 0.9. Uh yeah, Dirk, it's a it's a known bug in FN24 at the basically. It's because what the game is doing is it's load it's assigning ids for regens to existing players that are not loaded in your database so when you you know when you start a save and load the players in but as a result it buggers up face packs but it also buggers up licensing as well so surely that's gonna have to be fixed right can't see much but yeah i see i think what i'll do then basically is we'll wait until the patch comes out for that and then what i'll do is i'll just delete those players from my face pack and then they'll go back to having regen faces and then we can assign them z-gens or alternatively um some people have already sent me faces that i can actually manually put on their players too so that's also an option for people that was uh have those faces too because i know that james has already sent me one for his uh, for james and kathy haven't actually had a chance to put it in yet but yeah i've already got one for him can't click anything so oh shit so fion i've heard that the tutorials are causing all sorts of problems with people and I've noticed it myself too, not like to a game-breaking level, but I have noticed that the the more how's the word the more intrusive tutorials do seem to have caused a few problems this year, especially when it comes to adding things like the skin. So if you try to add a new skin before you've done the tutorial, it's yeah, <laughs> we start the save again. Yeah, I don't think we can quite do that this time. Uh, we certainly won't be. Not that now we're in season two anyway. Ooh. So yeah, I mean, last stream, we were very, very solid indeed. Other than that one blip, we were pretty much banging. And the best thing about this month, chat, is we have three television matches, which is going to enable us to get out of debt a little bit. And it means that in January, we might actually be able to spend a little bit of that transfer budget that we've got knocking about. Not that we really need to just yet, but it might put us into a slightly better financial position. It's not going to be huge money, particularly as we're going to be spending a load of it as well. But it'll at least get us back to, like, evens, maybe. I actually did, Daz. It was... What was it chat described it as? annoyingly competent we'll take it oh sorry Gordon. did i miss something here uh uh right hang on let me just get them it's actually easy for me to type this in baker street jerry rafferty oh baker street that's not oh i fuck it whatever um the reason that one was rejected though is because it was too long but um i'll put it on anyway just because it is baker street and it's an absolute bop so we'll just add that to the queue Right, there we go. Hopefully that's all sorted now. Yeah, Alba Redondo, I'm fairly certain that that regen has not spawned yet. Um, nah. Definitely a season two then. Ben, thank you for the follow. Well, oh, think of the language courses. Do you know what? That's literally what it is, though. So I was looking at the expenditure. And if you look at the very bottom here, other, 500, oh, you can't actually see, other, 500 pounds. And the max on like is six minutes. It's because I had to sort of set a reasonable length and i figured six minutes was fair enough because otherwise people would be recommending podcasts and stuff <laughs> or just entire dream theater albums but yeah 500 pounds we spent the last month on other whereas if you look further back in the season i'm fairly certain our, our largest yeah literally our largest expenditure is still other <laughs> a little bit of true crime i know have a bit of case file on in the background people are dead but with an australian accent chat a continuous concept albums exactly <clears throat> Oh, in the faces, that's actually... What I normally do is, because I'm lazy, I just piggyback them onto existing face packs and just edit the existing config files. I know some people are much more, like, sensible than me and actually make their own configs. Ah. Favourite tree... No! <laughs> what, you want me to do, like, a podcast listen-along? <laughs> Even I wouldn't stoop so low. No hotel... Is Hotel California really longer than that? You're going to have to find a cover that someone sped up. <laughs> so. Situation today. 
really, we're just going to blast through some games. Uh, we do have, however, the trophy second round against Hibernians, which is annoying because they're a good side. And I was kind of hoping we'd play some scrubs for a few matches to get ourselves into the cup a little bit longer, but no. Uh, also, speaking of the cup, and obviously we played against wonderful uh, Don Bosco's oratory last stream, and um, that brought up this, courtesy of Hadrian. Now let me find out. Um... On YouTube or just on Twitch. Uh, so yes, the VODs go live on... I'll put this in the background for a second. The VODs go live on the second channel. Um, there isn't any recaps at the moment, but there will be. So the reason that there hasn't been a recap for the first season yet is because of the situation, uh, exclamation mark situation. But the, what that means is when I do the season two recap, it'll be a double length video where I recap both season one and season two. And then after that, it'll be back to the same thing as before with the single season recaps. But because I had to spend time sorting out the situation i was unable to do a recap video that day because that was the time when i would normally do it basically so it's not a big problem we're just going to be sort of uh having to go a bit of a circular way around to get to back where we were basically but yeah i, I figured people would ask about that but yeah that's the situation literally <laughs> but yeah uh, just um don bosco's massive making go habit a religious habit out of winning but are they though is my question <clears throat> it looks like a poster for like Crusader Kings. What are we listening to here? Oh, it's baby metal. Of course it is. When would you start a load farm? As soon as possible. But obviously in FM24, it's a little bit more complex because it's not as easy to get loans out in the first place. Is it one for the GP today? Well, shit. In that case, we might have to, yeah. I normally, uh, I just assumed it was two o'clock like normal. But if it is, then we might have to stop at one today. But that's fine. We can still get, that actually might work fine. Because then we can just do more on Nino, Tuesday. Nino, Nino, <coughs> Nino, and whoop whoop. It's the and sound whoop, whoop. of the police and my two favorite sirens. What is yours, Matto? Also happy two years plus four months. I'm a big fan of the Wambulance, I must say. Big Costa, thank you very much for the 28 months. Hope you're well, man. <coughs> to get loads out. Uh, because they've changed the uh, AI squad building tendencies and it means that they maybe are less likely to take a loan from you. But that's I haven't had enough time to do long term testing with it, so I simply do not know. But we all just know that it is just gonna be more difficult. But in theory, if you're playing in Malta, it shouldn't actually make so much difference because Malta's I genuinely don't believe we're gonna need anywhere near as much loan farmery in this save. Gonna play the Max Yeah, in it. I mean I'm I'm debating it, honestly. Normally I would, but like is there anything actually gonna be happening in it? Uh, the increased multi squad strength it could make that complex on our part. Like, we will try and still do it as soon as we can, but I wouldn't be surprised if in, say, season six or something, we're sat here, like maybe a chat, well, a European group stage team or something, actually starting to sign a few little players that might go in the loan farm and they're just simply not there. They just simply won't work. King Jimmy, how's it going, man? Good morning. Oh, I have a look up to do. My apologies. Let's get on that first. Yeah, we might need like a, as you say, a sort of 50 to 60 loan farm rather than the 200 man loan farm. We're never getting a 200 man loan farm, honestly. Uh, so there's Ibrahim Adel. <clears throat> Ooh, damn. 13 caps already. Man's decent. Hey, master. Less teams in the league. No, no, no. Uh, there's actually more teams, if you think about it, because you've got um, one, I think our top flight is just bigger than Hungary. And also there's more teams turned on further down the league because we've got a second and third tier here. <clears throat> it's not a question of the need for the loan farm so much as the teams are just better at building squads this year and with the way that we've set the transfer preferences up for Malta it's better economics teacher I'll take that I'm sure he's a very handsome chap <laughs> you're like no mate he's horrible <laughs> hmm. whereas in year one well this is year two um, but still he's actually still at pyramids but he's on 33 grand a week which is wild by the way. But I suppose it is pyramids. You often find that you get a lot of maths teacher. I'll take it. I'm all the teachers, apparently. Hey, Dan. Is it? <laughs> it's just my alt account. D just ignore me. It's my alt account, obviously. But yeah, so there he is. They're the Man City of Egypt. Yeah, I mean, 33 grand a week is crazy. I need to, Basil, really. I need to start my plan for Malta on the week of the 5th of December. So I really need to just get a couple of practice runs in before then. I don't want to be like <coughs> randomly... Imagine if Moses Jarji wasn't in the database after all this. No, of course he is. Plays for Policia. Who are... Yeah, they're the Ukrainian side. God, he's actually really good, isn't he? He's only earning 70... Ooh. Should we shortlist Jarge? He has got three years left on his deal. But part of me wonders if we just shortlist him, maybe we grab him on a free transfer at some point. 
had hearts win the league twice you'd love to see it well actually i, I don't really because my whole family's hip supporters but it's fine for this particular purpose oh is this um walker peters <clears throat> 1.9k it's wild that he went for a wage as low as that because like there's Maltese clubs playing way more than that this season even fucking Zabar have that dude the guy that's injured for the entire season he's on 2.3k which is crazy to me <clears throat> uh, that's a Spotify one hopefully that one went through and that's a Spotify one as well <clears throat> yeah they're very hacking Z8. I hope we get at least a couple of transfers like that once we get to like season 3 I feel like that's where we're going to start seeing stuff like that right Let's get a team selection sorted out. This should be pretty straightforward. Also, I have... Are we doing that? Fuck it. I guess we start in Larry today. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but I'm also not sure how much I'm concerned about the cup right now. Morning, Dutchie. Oh, dear. Uh, also, 73k. Wait, crazy. What? Really? That's actually kind of mad. Uh, bench, 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 bench. Well, Milan is not happy with me at the moment, unfortunately. Akadom's... Actually, technically, I could just release Akadom, but no reason to, right? All right, get that sorted. We're already sorted. So another back five. Working from home. Yeah, um. Okay, let's go. Uh, but yeah, I do have training schedules. I literally got went out and got a set of training schedules the day before RDF released his new ones. So I've not actually got those ones inputted yet. I've got the, uh, the ones I got off of the Steam Workshop, which I haven't had a chance to test yet, but I guess we can do that today. Okay, at least we're starting to get more in with the players. That's the ones I'm using, uh, Jimmy, yeah. I've only just put them in, though, so we haven't had a chance to see if they're any good or not. But they seem to be reviewed well, and he's got, like, ones for all occasions, I guess. So we're going to try those out today for a little bit. And frankly, if they're doing fine and we don't get any, like, injury issues with them, then I might just persist with them for a little bit. Because we used them last year, I feel like, right at the start. Callum Doyle. Callum Doyle. He is so good for lower league stuff. I remember, I think it was Whitport I signed Doyle on. And... I got him through one of those, you know that email you get at the end of the season? We know the clubs in England release players. That's an absolute goldmine for great youngsters. I got Callum Doyle through that on, I think, the Whitport save for, again, a similarly low fee, and he was amazing. Oh, yeah, no, RDS ones are brilliant. Um, that's what I normally wait for. Oh, Marza, come on. He's already got 12 goals this season, making him the top scorer. 12 and 9 is actually insane. That's a really poor touch, and he's got away with that there. How many times am I going to say I love the match engine today is the question. What a pass over the top for Grinio brings it down. What a save. It's offside, but... Or is it? Nope. Good save. Perfect name. Ooh. Is, I'm assuming he's a left-sided player then. At least three times a match, yeah. I realised I was looking through the clips just trying to prepare some stuff for the recap this season. Our highest paid player is actually Dick on £750 a week. Um, left for will it? Well, yes, of course. Just need a striker ahead of them called Cockend. All problems solved. Oh, Christ. Oh, what? <laughs> is he called Ring? Maybe. Mm. Is that a new one for the bingo? To be fair, it's nice to have positive things like that in the bingo card rather than Matt complains about the match engine. Matt absolutely... Oh, well, they're getting RDF today. That is... um, That's the second time in the first 10 minutes they've hit the post or bar. But... What was I going to say? Yeah, I was looking through clips to get some stuff ready for the recap next week. And um, I found like three separate clips... That that all end with me going, did I mention I love the match engine? That's over the bar. Just to move my mouse, because <laughs> I think there's a way I can stop it from capturing the mouse. But I think in a game like FM, it's quite useful for me to be able to like have it available so that I can like just point at things with it. But I love being able to like, wax lyric about goals I've conceded in a way, because it's like, I've not felt cheated. Even in that master game, I didn't you know, feel cheated. Train coming in it was a horrendously oh, yes, unlucky so. result, but I didn't yeah, feel like their goals were cheese. You know, they were just good goals. Can do say, thank you for the follow. Two clips on the vault. Yeah, exactly. With the Larry sign. Oh God, what's up? Look at some regens. First season with Stoke. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant in this. Episode. Um, Honestly, first season, you're not going to see any. Well, no, that's not true. You will find a couple of regens first season if you have add players to playable teams on but really you want to be waiting a few years because the regions have to not only gen and obviously most of them will be 16 15 at that point you also need to kind of wait really i feel like season three onwards is where you'll start to find them a bit more frequently that's where like this summer we might have a look for some in this save but obviously at stoke it's going to be more difficult because again players that are going to be aptly good for stoke are going to be a lot less than the guys that are just sitting on the ground there than for us whereas you know a lot of players could be considered good for us hey kenny 
Yeah, the, even the fluky goals. But like his white shoe sirens. I didn't say I like hips. Um. Oh, sorry, my family. No, no, Hibernians, as in Scotland, Hibernians. This is just another team in Malta that happens to have the same name. Hey, Ian. Person with the skirt. <laughs> well, I mean, you saw what happened when I tried to trigger uh, the Namibian Illuminati on the last stream. That went well. To Unity Cancel. I mean, no, but think about it, right? If they took the animation, if they took the actual like underlying match engine and the way that it works and then placed a lovely Unity animation engine on top of it, it's like the groundwork is already laid and now they're adding accoutrement. It's, that's what makes me excited even more because they've still got another year of development into the actual underlying stuff and then putting like a lovely new skin on it through Unity next scouting window we're definitely going to try it next window but i feel like the one that it's really going to be important is the one after that between seasons three and four i think that's when the amateur regen and belgian scouting for example are going to be super powerful for us particularly if we have a good finish this season qualify for europe then going into season four i'd like to believe that we're champions at that point probably and therefore we'll have a little bit more money to play with especially in wages to pick up some of those guys because the belgian guys are not going to want little money it's Granillo. great save again but that's probably the plan. Thinking long term here, anyway. Non-contract season three. Okay, so that maybe is a sign that we can do it then. That's usually where I think we'll get to. Yeah, and the fact that we've got a Emil and Penza on the wage bill as a scout is absolutely goaded for us because it means we'll just know a little bit more. What the fuck? <laughs> Sends it clear, says the match engine. Doubt. Um, did he kick that straight at our man, or did he just boot that up in the air? Because I don't think he did, did he? <laughs> That's incredible! <laughs> He's got it back again! Oh, I hope someone clipped that. Um, Christ, I can do it myself here. Problem is, I can't name the clips when I clip them, because I have to use it with my button. Oh, dear. Have I seen- I love the match engine. That was crazy. You just got lost in the lights. Tell me he does it again! <laughs> oh, I'd use it appallingly in Europe, as we would expect at this stage. Sorry for newly promoted. Oh, yeah. That Tarsheen Rainbow is about to come up and steal all our Belgian regions. Uh, yes, Women's Leagues are added next year. And honestly, I cannot wait to have, once the lower databases are out, like a. I might even just find a way to do that into some kind of content, like a lower league um, Fulham women's database, because I really want to play with that team. Uh, oh, Christ. Oh, no, don't let. As fucking it. A story of tragedy in two parts. Right. So, directly from that, they boot it down the other end of the pitch, it misses every player, and then they score off of it. Ah, oh, that's that 500 IQ coming out again. So, we are losing uh, to that. So, he boots it up in the air, gets it headed back to him, and then that happens. Drops it, yeets it down the field. It doesn't touch a single footballer. Does he even take a touch? Yeah, he does. Two touches. Bang. Ah, oh, morning, Phil. That's some, um, yeah, English lower league save. Um, it depends because that will slow you down because you're going to have to turn on lots of leagues just to be able to play the lower league English save. I would say maybe go for like a cut down version. So like, have a look at the what I've got loaded and maybe go into the load countries instead of continents so you could pick and choose a little bit more as a beta save. Uh no, because there wouldn't be a database for it. Fulham, bear in mind, Fulham women play in the fifth division of English football, which is so shit because we used to be so good. Like, we were the first professional women's team in the UK, if I remember, under Al Fayed. He put a lot of money into it, and it just got absolutely decimated. That being said, we did just knock Arsenal out of the cup. Oh, sorry, Arsenal's academy out of the cup, but they won the cup last year. So that's pretty sick. But no, I really want to be able to play with that team because I just think it's cool. I hope that they start playing more money into the Fulham women's team because it's just like, I want them to be more accessible the, the, the game was at craven cottage as well they're like three thousand there which is not bad for a fifth tier side seems to be running just fine yeah i feel like it's just running better in general this year that database setup seems to be even more useful this year because of the optimization elsewhere in the game hey danny blow hashtag what well, hashtags women uh probably um to give you an idea the division that we're in at the moment uh dartford are top currently um yeah so that's the sort of level we're at. We've been stuck in the fifth tier for like the last three or four years because there's always just been like one massively overpowered team that gets out of it each time and we can never quite get out of the division. But they need to pass some more money to it then. 
because I'd love to see them back to up to in, like the the proper structure again where they should be. I might say should be. That's not really. No one deserves to be there. But yeah, as a Premier League club with the infrastructure, they should be there based on that alone. That's exactly dear Honor. There's a there's so much m extra money there for them potentially now. Because like having watched a lot of more women's football, like fuck me, what's a great finish? It's like I, I just want to support my team. You know, I, I don't want to have to pick another team. I would never, I wouldn't be able to do that. And it makes it it adds an extra barrier for me being able to enjoy it more because my team plays in a division that's almost impossible to like. Do you know what I mean? It's but I'm hopefully that means that like lower leagues will get more money and the, it will just flow up. Right, that, that's what makes it so cool. I think. Particularly lately. Yeah, we're going out the cup here. Um, our first season... Sorry, first loss of the season is going to come in the cup because we are apparently just cursed in this competition. Oh, this isn't where I parked my hey, car. Tide. On a boat. That's a wild sentence, and I'm here for it. Uh, roll safe, men. Thank you very much for the follow. Where is Larion? Yeah, I mean, Larion... He's... Um, oh. He's not got we're speed. And I think I regret starting him, but I felt like we had to prioritise the league this season, given where we are in it compared to the cup it just made more sense for us to rest a few of the key guys for the oh lord <laughs> and he's decided to rest his brain oh dear uh, dennis amg thank you very much for the follow it is a bit of a you can do better yeah um or like with the instruct with the oh hang on go on marza right Gr grineo right across the keeper lovely that's gorgeous oh yeah, no, I saw that Arsenal are potentially moving the all the women's games to the Emirates, which is dope. I think, I suppose it's just a question of um, not so much whether they can make a profit off of it specifically, but whether they can just make sure that they can eat the loss sustainably in that sense, right? Um, cool. Right. Um. Hey! <laughs> <Whey! laughs> Chat, get the wimps out! <laughs> Knuckle dust! <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I realise this is going to be, like, just whoosh, but I might as well probably don't just post links to other people's streams in my chat or anyone's chat for that matter, right? That's just basic etiquette. New stream request playlist. Um, There's a, a playlist I've been using for stream, but then the requests just get added to the queue on Spotify, basically. Occasionally, I like a song so much, I will just add it to the playlist myself. Get knuckle dusted. Get dusted. Do you know what, right? It's only 2-1. Go on, Harry. Go on, Larry. Right, here we go. If Charles gets us an equal, or at least provides a cross for... Oh, it's a penalty. It's not a penalty. I'm just so used to penalties being given for fuck all in this league that I just assumed. Although... Oh, he's actually kept that down. And now Larry's massively out of position. Oh, no. I was hoping we might get an equaliser there and we could just pull our way back into this game. Because Oh, that's a lovely little touch. He's gone too wide oh, for that shot. Oh, what a touchback. Oh, my car. Oh, I love this match engine, but I hate when it goes against us. Rob Rocks, thank you very much for the follow. That was so nice as well. Yeah, follow, do what Inferno says. Probably, Danny. But actually, I don't know. Like, that is a really nice goal. Like, the way he cuts inside here, for one. Then, this little touchback from the header. Back to his man. Bang. I love it. I can't be mad. It's such a nice goal. It's... Oh, I can't believe how SI have actually managed to make a game. Finally, I don't think there's been a single game of FM, like each game cycle, where I've not had regularly matches where I felt cheated. Yeah, January transfer window will be today. Not that we've got... We do have a bit of money. Particularly as we've got some TV matches in December that should boost our uh, finances a little bit that might allow us to spend a little bit of that uh, transfer budget that we have that we can't touch because of the uh, Darbo deal. Because they gave us the money before we'd actually... They accredited us the money before we'd even got the money. Oh, go on. Pull it back. Right, there's a guy right there. Please use him. Esselink, come on. This is really patient build-up. I'm hoping we don't just lose the ball and get counted here. But we're doing really good. Right, Charles is in. He's so good at these crosses. Whips it across, and it's headed home by Rodrigo Granillo. 3-2. It wouldn't be us if we didn't have a banger. Bad quality for the stream. I have 300 down. Uh, to be fair, that's... Pos I wish that's on me, but actually... It's not. For once, I actually have decent... Uh, like, no frames dropped today. Uh, we've rested Dick today because it's a cup game. They get mad. Uh, not to my knowledge, JJ, Jay, but it might be... There are certain player profiles... Sorry, certain personalities that I find are very difficult to praise. Perfectionists, I find, are a bit of a pain in the tits. Look as though they're here. Like, I had to drop the uh, bitrate down even more at the start of the cycle because of the stupid shit that's going on with my internet. Um, but hey, that'll change when we get a hat... When, when Pog and I move, eh? <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I love that, for example, um, Vaughn knew that Pog and I were looking for, like, houses and stuff like that, and then was away from, like, the streams for, like, what, 18 months? Two years, Vaughn? Comes back and I'm still doing it. <laughs> uh, morning, ads. You know, we're not out this year. I'm going to make a couple of subs. We might as well throw on a couple of the, uh, the firsties, right? Moving. Oh, I wish. Um, we'll get a couple of the first teamers on for a minute and see if we can one last little push. Perhaps with 20 minutes to go. Time at this point. Speaking of Springtide, you've just reminded me of something absolutely wonderful. So there I was yesterday morning. Got a, a screenshot in the group chat. It was a script. It was Viking saying, I am making my actorial debut and in the work pantomime and i thought to myself lovely old job and now you don't even have to ask if it was viking because yes it was so his work's doing cinderella and i thought that's dope trying to look through the different screenshots he sent to figure out who he's playing until i see on the front of the script lo and behold my boy is playing a fucking cinderella <laughs> he said that he would only told them he would only do it if he could play cinderella it's cinderella cinderella christ of the bike map if I don't get pictures, I'm going to be livid, mate. Like, I'm so happy to see this. Yes, he is. Oh, no, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Sensational scenes. What a thing to wake up to. He's behind you. Oh, Viking Cinderman strikes again. Bente, thank you very much for the 22 months. I kind of hope he comes in today now just so we can take the piss. I, I want a let's play of the play. Hang on a minute. We're in a good spot here. Got the space on the edge of the box for wrestling. Go on, Ben one, buddy. You know you want to. Great first touch. Terrible finish. Not a good finish, but we're actually showing a bit in the second half of this game. I don't think this is done. I reckon there's another goal in this for us. Also, oh, that's Zibu. I thought it was Jabbar. We'll get him off, but we've only really got Bismarck. The reason I go we got on trial, don't make him kiss the frog. You're calling me a frog? How dare you? I can't stand for this. We might get a draw, potentially. Uh, plus, obviously, it would go... Like, Mars has been the one that's actually... Oh, hang on. Oh, if only Bismarck was still 6-5. I'm great, man. Oh, I'll be a lot better if we can get an equaliser in this cup game. Esselink! Get in. Sirens 3, Hibernians 3. We were 2-0 down. 3-2 down. Sorry, 3-1 down. And now a level. It's game in normal time. Yes, it does go straight to pens. I don't think we've had a single cup game. It feels like that hasn't gone straight to pens, basically. What size of glass? <laughs> you got this in a size 14. Love that. Esselink slots in the... He's been the one player that's found space today, in fairness. of <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I wish. I'd absolutely slay, man. Trap inside or trap outside? I think we are using... Uh, we are trapping outside, currently. 25. Hell yeah. Fair play, man. Yeah, we're going to extra... We're going to pens, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, only Boalo's complacent. Settling into the match well. Not a body language I think I've ever seen before. None of them have got good penalties, so that's kind of irrelevant. I'm just going to go by finishing and composure. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to let the assistant handle this. Nothing I do there is going to make any difference anyway. Uh, home advantage, because that matters loads in penalty shootouts. Although, actually, apparently Max has done a new video about um, the home advantage in FM, so I'm curious to watch that after stream. Right. <clears throat> you know what time it is, Chateau? What are we going with today? What we got? What we got? Group? No, we don't want to say that. <laughs> uh, let's try. Bear travel. Chat, here we go. Bear travel. Purposes of trap. Right, this is purposes of travels for bears. Avoid people. Escape. Move to and from day bed. This sounds like me. Move to and from den. Play. Purposes not understood by humans. This is its own category. Return to previous habitat following translocation. Seek a mate. Seek food. Have they just described me? I feel like they've just, like, particularly moved to and from daybed. I mean, I feel personally attacked. That's had to walk bare distance. Ah. Oh. What did Marza do? Did he just penenka that? Of course he did. Just casually... Cracking out a uh, pen. That's not the first time someone's done that in this save either. Didn't um, Hamadi try to... Good pen. Also, what was that hand motion before? Just psyching the keeper out. 
you will lose. Well, I'm curious to see what Max's findings are on that one. Jean Carlos. Oh, what a save. Hirkins has really saved us there. Literally. Right, here we got. It's Samassi. Right back extraordinaire. Just back from illness. Uh, being an injury, that is. Oh, he's just sort of a little stutter there on the end of it. Right, we should be in a good... If we actually win this game, I'll be very impressed, considering we were two goals down on two different occasions. Right, so a save here. Very strong wrists. Yeah. So if Hirkins saves this, or we score the next one, we're good. Oh, it's Hoffenissian. Which is just a really fun name to say. Yeah, we'll just draw hammering in the next round, won't we? All right, come on, Hirkins. Oh, that's it. Star jumps. Go on. Ah, yes. That old ploy. The old star jump, then move out of the way. I call that one the um, Unia Portia approach to penalties. So who's taking our fifth pen? It's going to be someone goth. It'll be Dick. What? <laughs> of course it is. Ah, watch him like Penenka this into the crossbar or something. Go on, Dickie boy. Here's your moment. That was very fucking close. But, oh, look at him! Pointing to the dick on the back of his shirt. Look at that. Beautiful penalty from Dick. Slides it in. That was very fucking close. That keeper was like a pubes width away from getting that. We were quite fortunate there, but Granillo, he's really stepped up. Yeah, we'll get a bit of prize money, which is good, yeah. That's actually setting up. We could actually do a, We might be able to spend like 50k in January, potentially. That's lovely. Anyone bad, like anyone big get knocked out as well? Valletta are through, Balzans are through, Zabara are through, National Lions are through, Hamru. Oh, okay. Well, there's an off top flight. So Floriana are through, Sleem are through. The usual sort of stuff. How much do we get for that? Missing for No, you just don't have, just 50k. Okay. Not, I suppose, yeah, we, to be fair, we never saw any of this shit last year. That's not bad, actually. 50k. We'll take that. That actually pulls us back into the, for the first time in like a year. We're actually now back into the... Well, not the year, but actually, no. We're, yeah, fully much... <laughs> the first time in a while, we are back into uh, positive funds again. Although we had the little blip there. That's actually not bad. Yeah, the Lexies will obviously potentially end up in Europe. So that does make sense. That's good, actually. Right, okay, cool. We'll take that. Now we've got three games on television in December as well. Uh, What? Now, I'm curious to know what he thinks he's going to develop here. It's like looking at a dead flower and being like, well, that's not going to grow. It, I would have been concerned about him before then. But there we move. It's a very strange feature, isn't it? Yeah, it's the fact that he, he's literally pointing to the back of his shirt after he scores the penalty. Off the, oh, new contract. Nice. Yes. Bit of a... Can I... I would say... Come on, give me a longer contract. All right, fine. Two years will do. Stand up for Malta. Um, I suspect they were bumped a little bit, but uh, not bumped, but like uh, they were in line with everything else, basically. With Botu, oh shit. Yeah, he probably should be starting more matches. To be fair, that's actually something I can rectify. But I'm gonna try and oh, he's gonna complain, isn't he? Yeah. My assistant refuses to actually do his job most of the time, so that's always fun. <laughs> Wasam Fathy, thank you very much for the sorry, Wasim Fathy, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna say he can play more because he can. Uh, not starting enough matches. That's fine. I wanted to play him a little bit more anyway. He's a real finisher, isn't it? Oh. Sackle of it. Might, yeah, I mean, we might have to look for another assistant in the summer. Uh, That's all lower league matches. Or we could get someone like, I'd love to play one of these guys in the next round. That's really good. That's really good. Recommend an aftershave. Um, I have this one called Ice White from Next, which is quite, quite nice. But that's about it. I don't really do fancy aftershave. I just like things that smell kind of good. Mike and I were in Lush yesterday, sniffing things. Um, I mean, I can't really be more blatant about it. That's literally what we were doing. Pog had gone off to do some like stuff. So Pog, um, Mike and I decided to go to Lush because Mike wanted to find something for Chloe. So we were just going around sniffing everything. And um, I'll be honest, I just don't understand the naming of things. I don't really understand the naming of scents in general, right? But it feels like men's stuff are either named after, like, pine forests or, like, heavy machinery. Or just called, like, sport. I'm here for it. <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> sniffing what? Well, I mean, what do you think you're sniffing in Lush? Uh, Bartolo. Oh, what's our Hoyd actually like? He's not even that bad, actually. 
Bland Frank. They, there was also one in there that was literally, I couldn't smell it at all. Like, just nothing. <laughs> you are called, but is it sausage, presumably? Because we're simply too poor to not to understand that. They're all toilet. Well, I mean, pretty much, yeah. I actually might win the under 19 here. Yeah. Players removed from shortlist. Uh, I mean, sure. Oh, yeah, of course, because Medi Gashim got recalled, didn't he? That's annoying. Uh, cool. Sausage roll fragrance. Oh, I wish. I don't think I'd want to smell like that. Uh, we can't really afford to lose Traore, so I might have to start starting him as well. Ahead of Hirkins, because he's a permanent signing. <clears throat> a real thing? No. Well, I mean, they are in the sense that they technically exist and technically do affect the game, but not in any noticeable way that you will ever see in any save you ever do. <clears throat> so, for example, say you played a 50-year save, you may well see a one-point bump if you could somehow measure that, but you'll never see anything in your saves that make any difference. <clears throat> Smell like Greg's at 8 a.m. <sighs> I just find Greg's very mid a lot of the time. It just It takes forever to get served. And, yeah, <clears throat> it's fine. Diction, I'm probably not going to do that. Um, I have got some ideas. For that. I kind of just want that one the other one. Was it get with the business or suffer? Floriana lose again. That is wild. Pretty no fragrances. Oh, shit. Sorry, Capybara. The problem is those messages go into a stupid, like, extra folder that Twitter doesn't notify me about unless I actively go in and look for it. It's really annoying. I'll have to have a check. What was this about sense? Valletta lost. Oh, that gives us a chance to go top. Small local beggars. Oh, yeah. That's where we took um, Mike yesterday. There's this, like, uh, independent coffee shop, which is dope. Just, like, a little hole, hole in a wall in an alley, which is sick. And there's also this, like, uh, bakery stall on a Saturday. Amazing stuff. Floriana, I don't know what's going on with them. Like, they've got good play. They signed Vasco Valtz. He's a former Dortmund player. But they are playing a very, very defensive system. But they've got Walter Yule. They've got Evans and Nenny, who apparently... They've got Agonor as well. This is a good team. Bear in mind, Floriana's season preview is sick, which isn't actually amazing for them. But, like, they shouldn't be in the relegation places. They didn't get with the business, and now they suffer. I think at some point they'll eventually pull it together because to me it's still going to be Santa Lucia and Goodyear that go down because they are by spe spending by far the least amount of money in this league. So Coimbra was... Oh yeah, he was the Luxembourg guy that we briefly looked at. Relegate season one. Yeah, Valletta are like all over the place. Could be struggling due to Europe, but they're not playing in Europe. None of them are now. It's December. They're all out. None of them got into the group stages or anything. I mean, I don't know if they're overspending. I mean, they are not even... They've got money in the bank, too. So maybe they'll strengthen in Jan, although their wage budget is not great, admittedly. Gabinho, I don't even... I think they just got bumped straight away, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they beat, got beat 6-0 on Ag by Dundalk. A former uh, Building a Nation favourite coming back to haunt us, as per. Ran over the F... Yeah, there's so many things I could do with that, Johnny. And that all comes back to the thing about, like, flavor events that I was talking about. Uh, so, right, I need to play a slightly different lineup for today. Play at Ali Utreore, and we need to play... Christ, it's annoying having to drop one of these two, because they're both playing so well. But Jean is a permanent player here, and I think he does need to play. DeAndre Prince, yes, there is. Yes, uh, DeAndre Prince is a, he's a patron regen. Uh, he is, I believe, Dominican Republic. Uh, there he is. Dominican Republic at Sunderland. That is he. He is one of the Patreon regens. Uh, born in Santo Domingo. In all his glory. I hate the fact that when they generate English clubs like that, they don't have work permits. And I don't know if they ever get them or not, which is just one of the downsides of that. So the moment I made Caps one proper, he lost his work permit at Ipswich as well. Oh, so I've just noticed that my mate has just started playing a game that I've been playing lately. And it reminds me, chat, I have a game recommendation for you. I don't recommend games very often, other than FN24, honestly, right? If you like a bit of roguelike loveliness, but more specifically, if you enjoyed Hades and you maybe have also enjoyed Vampire Survivors, which obviously isn't a roguelike, but, you know, I mean, operating in that same arena, then I have to 100% recommend to you Death Must Die. It is superb. It's in early access. It's only like five quid or something on Steam right now. It is chef's kiss wonderfulness, honestly. The North Korean Ledger play. Yes, that's, um, oh, the guy is, uh, um, not Ledger, uh, Lech Poznan. Yeah, that's uh, Chumwal. No, is it Chumwal? It might be, isn't it? 
So if you should, yeah, I saw Frosty playing it um, in a video, and I was immediately hooked. Not my kind of game. Fair enough, right? But if you are into like your, uh, if you liked Hades and you liked Vampire Survivors, you will like this. Basically, <laughs> is all I can say. It is the perfect like middle ground between the two. Uh, it'll be in the 1990s, won't he? Holy shit, Lamborn! Thank you very much for the five. Wow, that's just come out of nowhere. That's insanely kind of you, my friend. Wow, thank you. I don't know what to say. If you have just, uh, M. Coops, Cock, the Arsenal gamer, Connor Gallagher, there he is, and Craigie, th um, all being gifted subs. That's, that's very kind of you, C. Lamborn. Um, thank you so much. How? Where is he? Oh, there he is, Kim Chun Lee. Uh, this is the one, the North Korean. Another one for Medi. Oh, speaking of Medi, it's time. Stone Shard. Ooh, okay, Paladin Knight. Okay, you've you've got me you've got me interested. I want some more roguelike debt builders as well. Like I've been playing so much Slay the Spire Downfall, it's like does my head in. <laughs> it's just such a fucking good game though. He doesn't look like yeah, he has got a sort of to be fair, probably just about escaped. It's Vodiment time, yes. It's that part of the stream when Matt answers comments from the Vod. We got four today, Chato. Look at us go. Oh that that's that fucking sucks, Isla Football. Um, I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, just know that, like, it gets better. No, like, shit, when you're... I'm assuming you're sort of of school age. I don't actually know. I'm guessing so if you're mentioning bullying. Um, people are tossers. And it, it does get better. Not because people stop being tossers. They'll always be tossers. But when you grow older, you'll have the autonomy to be away from tossers. Or you choose to watch my stream and surround yourself with them. <laughs> but, yeah. Don't remember road like... But, oh, Balatro! Yes, that's the poker one, isn't it? Yeah, I saw Frosty playing that as well. But yeah. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that you're going through that, man. That sucks. I just know that we're here. So, VOD comments. First one. This is an interesting one. Just point out there. If you give them star player, they will ask for less money because you're giving them the desired playing time. That much we sort of worked out last time around. But apparently, the star player thing is no longer as much of a problem as it was before. Now, that we are starting to get some complaints, but it took a little while for those complaints to start happening, so maybe we'll try that out a little bit more, actually. Maybe we can get away with more star player contracts this time around. That would be nice, right? Uh, yeah. Um, out the loop, two American women. Anyone enlighten me to what a wemp is? Right, so don't worry. This isn't a too American to understand thing at all. Um, the wemp is essentially a made-up word that we accidentally coined one time. It was because I was trying to say wimp and weapon at the same time when I was calling a player a, we a weapon after he'd missed an easy chance during a Champions League final, right? But my words got confused and I called him a wemp. And <laughs> chat just started repeating it back to me immediately after that. And as a result, it kind of became a term that we use to describe people that are of a suboptimal moral standing. <laughs> Essentially, basically, we use it to describe people that come into chat and be twats. That, that's we just it, wimp is a nice way. Wimp and walloper, yeah. No, I'm fairly oh, certain it was wimp and weapon. Car. Is how I ended up with wimp. Now that I think about it a bit more, a bit like how Ben came about exactly. First Emperor Lee, thank you very much for the seven months. That's really nice of you. And Ikea, thank you for the follow as well. But yes, that's where wimp came from. Have a good time with that. Hopefully you can, man. That's really cool. Um, right, next one. We've got. Can't believe we lost, this is where it comes back to Medi again. Can't believe we lost out to a North Korean superstar because of some pocket change. I know, I was gutted Medi, but at least he is now playing in Malta, just not for us, which does suck. Hopefully they'll use him correctly. And the last one, cleanest mic stand on Twitch. You love to see it. Vindication! And we move. Ah. Uh. More star players, but you cannot drop the playing time the moment they join. Yeah, no, that actually was something that was fixed mid-career. We don't have a North Korean, but there is a North Korean playing in Malta because we tried to sign him and he signed for someone else. Wemp is a portmanteau. I suppose it technically is, yeah. Um, Yeah, I suppose, well, yeah, because it is, because you have where and then wimp from there. Well, I don't know if it was a portmanteau, but it's just not something I'd even really considered because it wasn't deliberately a portmanteau. It was more like, there's actually another word for what I did, and I can't remember what it is, which is where you mix up like, because to me, as far as I'm aware, a portmanteau is when you take one part of one word and one part of another one and mix it. This wasn't actually my intention there. It just also happens to be one. There's like another word that, that describes that exact thing. I swear there is. If anyone would know, it would be Inferno. Just like, <laughs> in a way, yeah. Talk about they did, yes. Uh, <laughs> I thought they were that lower league Portuguese side. Malapropism. I think that's the one, yes. A Dilbert? <laughs> Imagine that, he's just like, Dad, what? <laughs> I think it is a malapropism, maybe, yeah. Port Hills through. Thank you very much for the gifted sub to I Love Football 123. Yeah. Hey, Jason. 
watch along for the F1 finale. Uh, not really, no. Um, I was planning on streaming, finishing stream to watch it, but now I'm honestly not sure if I can be asked to do that either. <laughs> Plus, I have no way of doing a watch along because I have no way of watching it while I'm live anyway. Um, my, you think my bitrate can handle that? Okay. They've got a guy called Neil Frendo. Also, great to know, Frendo is a surname in the Maltese name pool. We're going to have all the Frendos that we could possibly desire. Deliberately misusing one. It might be, yeah, which is not what I was doing. I don't know. Saying, so, UBS Mousyware. <laughs> Mousyware? Oh. Well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's like everyone has a nice time. The qualifying, the max wins. Pretty much. Tip your local time. The same country. Yeah, it, I mean, I just didn't watch it because I, I ain't getting up early for that. Uh, although it was a really good race. I watched the extended highlights after stream last Sunday and yeah. Offer a whiz to say my mom. I said, G I'm offering G. <laughs> now that I say that out loud, it becomes even worse. Wingers, I think they're really decent uh, because of the, I think, I don't know if it's actually the wingers themselves. I think, actually no. The wingers, because I feel like dribbling is really good in this match engine, so players with high dribbling, and often wingers tend to have quite high dribbling, they get into really nice positions. I love the way they slow the play down, then speed it up again. Um, if you've got players that are like pacey, can get across the last defender, you can get some really nice... They get a lot of assists. Lemolele bad boy. It's not quite screamer, though, is it? Wait, have they got a regen keeper? Steven Pace. Aerial reach is actually... Oh, he has five one-on-ones. Port which I'm malaproposed and we use and everyone nods and understand. Well, I mean, a lot of us are kind of going, that thing where you're at a party and people are much smarter than speaking, you're going, hmm, yes, give me another canopy, you know? <laughs> I think this is the type of game where we could get our, um, we could fill our boots. Oh, it's also Goodyear. So they're also shit. I suspect part of the reason that they're shit, though, is because they have that goalkeeper. I feel like we could fill our boots here a little bit. I want at least four in this. I feel like their keeper is just not going to be able to deal with us. Kamara! But there's one. Ashik Kamara scores the first goal of the game after three minutes. This could be a proper battering. He can hit from both sides of the plate. He's am amphibious. <laughs> He's amphibious. Speed and acceleration is the biggest difference. Ever. Yeah, I feel like that's unlikely to affect a goalkeeper, though. In fairness. But I do. I mean, I like fast players anyway. But at the end of the day, if the other attributes didn't matter, they wouldn't be in the game. Uh, oh shit! Oh, and Frendo's nearly scored. Parties with canopy. I do not go to parties with canopy. In my, I was just like quoting like, I, I, never in my entire existence have I ever been to a party with a canopy. Are they like, like those like little finger food shit? The last time I went to a party that had anything like that, it was fish and chips served in a cone, and I was like, yes, baby, come to me. <laughs> like, Mats has cut it inside. He's all the way through. It's Dick, and it's a good save from Stephen Pace somehow. I guess because it, it wasn't a one on one. <laughs> Oh. He does feel a bit uh, but yeah. Another corner goal, maybe? Oh, go on. Oh, good deflection. It was amazing. Have you ever been to a wedding? Yes. Uh, I've been to... I never used to go to weddings a lot. Like, I went through such a long spell from the age of, like... Well, birth. Until my early 20s. To where I just basically went to, like, two weddings in that entire period. And it was, like, ten funerals. People were just dying a lot. And then as I became into my 20s and stuff, there was way more weddings to go to. It was great. Kona Calamari. Well, no, it was like, um, literally, it was like a full-on small piece of cod, obviously battered up, and then some chips in there too. And it was like a little mini coat. It was amazing. So good. After a while, because I kept taking the cones, they would just come straight to me after a while. And yeah. The first week is at 29. Holy shit. Well, yeah, I mean, I've got some married friends and that's that's helped me go to a few weddings. No, canapes. no, it's just not the type of weddings. Like, the closest one that I would have been to that could have had something like that was the one, but they went for the... Oh, it's another goal. Went for the uh, the fish and chip option, and I thank them eternally for that, because I tell you what, it was peng. Tired thing. Is it? I mean, I quite like going to celebrate my friends and family's, like, nuptials and stuff. I think it's quite fun. I enjoy weddings. I enjoy weddings a lot, actually. Weapons is a Midlands murder. Less funerals after <laughs> Don't really do the Cali Fulberg voice again. Another play that fan. Actually, yes, Christian. Um, we're trying to source that out in January. Not serving canapes at SI. No, no. Um, they normally order a load of dominoes, and that's to be fit. That's fucking dope as well. As Molinar does it again. It's 3 0, and Nino Molinar has now got 
two goals in the first half here. Yeah, these guys are getting relegated. Steven is not going to save them today. What he needs to do to really rescue himself here, as we all know, is boot the ball up in the air, catch it again, and then they will score. One point in two funerals. Damn. No, it's just like... Uh, yeah, I feel like this is what we need. Jean needs to get an opportunity or two, score a few goals, and then crack on. He needs to show me why he should be starting. Here he goes. Cuts inside. Left foot. Oh, John. That's not... If he doesn't score today, I'll be really disappointed. But to one wedding. To be fair, I'd only been to like two by the time I was 24. Um, and one of them was my cousin. And another one was like a Scottish wedding I went to with like family up there when I was like three years old. So I don't even remember it, right? He's had a sighting. You tr true, yeah. He's having a couple of warning shots <laughs> just to get himself sighted in. Tenth funeral when he was 16. Holy shit. To be fair, I think I was probably not far behind at that point. Honestly, Hamadi's into the box. It's Molinar, and now it's a penalty. Right, I'm not going to give this to Molinar. I'm going to give this to Jean. Uh, wait, that's the wrong one. Penalties. Please tell me you can at least take a penalty. He's got four penalties. I feel like he needs this. Friendo's ha He's no friend of ours. Right, Jean from the spot. In before it overwrites it and gives it to Molinar anyway. No, I think that is Jean. Bring on the Oh, here he is. Jean Botti from the spot. Bang. Right. Good. Confidence. He's like our very own Raul Jimenez. Uh, show Celine. Hang on. Show Selena Ivan. Thank you very much for the follow. That took me a minute. I appreciate that. I've not really been to many. Um, Scottish funerals are a lot more um, upbeat. I'll tell you that. Right. That's a good first half. It was a shit pen. If the keeper had even maybe attempted to save it, he might have got it. I actually did wear a kilt, Capybara. I was only like three, but my parents got me like a little tartan. It was lovely. So it's a real party. No, they're fun as fuck. Like, I I used to love going up to like Hogmanay. It was amazing. Scottish funerals are so much fun. Because like they do the sad bit and everyone's still sad. But the moment they're out of there, vibes. Last time I was at a Scottish funeral, I spent the entire time with my dad's cousin, who's just the nicest fucking dude. Just... The love... Oh, hang on. Go on. Drop it back to him. Marza! It's five. It is five nil. I mean, we kind of knew this was coming, but they're really bad. Never been to an Irish one. Um, don't really have any Irish family, so... Even though... Well, I suppose I technically do, even though they would not be blood relatives, because my dad's stepdad is Irish, or was Irish. But he's still, technically... You know, he never stopped being Irish, but like, you know what I mean? That's fun in it, true. They are not having a good time as well. Yeah. I would like at least a hat-trick for Molinar now and just a chance for open play for Jean, perhaps. I won't take him off or anything. I'll keep him on. We'll get Bismarck Asare in and Hamadi's kind of struck. Fuck it, we're doing Larry right side. That seems like a smart plan. I can't see that going wrong at all. Get Esselink in for a little bit. I could have brought Zelly on, actually. We are indeed top of the league, yeah, because Valletta dropped points. And as a result, we got a game against bottom of the league and they have a terrible goalkeeper and we've just exploited him today. Larry, he could get into the right spot. I don't know if he's got the pace to get there or not. But he's going to come on after this play. Hamadi, Sally Sen. Oh. We are due a goal in this game to concede as well. We very rarely keep any clean sheets, which is good for the older, the bank balance, not paying out clean sheet bonuses. Helps us. Explosive by kicking the ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ, that sucks, worries me. Uh oh, here we go. Here comes their uh, regularly scheduled random goal. To be fair, that is an absolute banger. Janinio, what a name. You can't really not score goals like that if you call Janinio Cabral, can you? That is an unbelievable effort. 5 1. They just did that every time they got forward. Oh, thank you, Gordy. That's really kind of you, man. Look at this for a pass as well. But just bang. Traore is never going to stop that. That's great. Yeah, I mean, Larry's going to be. That's right. Larry's going to save the day. Problem solved. But that... Oh. Yeah, no, I bet it was. Well, there's the clean sheet bonus gone, which is great. Just saving us so much money. This is why we need to make sure that we stay bad defensively for the entire save. Save us... It will save us a shitload down the line. We are, Brian. We do score a lot. Um, But I want to concede too many here. Not to these mugs. Have they just thrown on... Oh, look at him go. Oh, good. <laughs> Five alls on the cards, chat. Should we go? Well, there you go. Oh, uh, so now it's a penalty to us, so to them rather. Tiago Adan against Traore, and it's five-two. 
See, Larry, Larry never does that. It's true. Because Larry does a very good tackling, in fairness to him. Make sure I catch up on these. This does feel like the beginning of a five all again. We're going to get mastered. Yeah, <laughs> Larry can't make those tackles because he's not in the right position. Cabral's on, I mean, the fact they've got another highlight. Look at them go. Adan. Diaz. As if. <laughs> Camilo Diaz has now twatted. What, what is going on? Lads, can we like head in the game a little bit? I've never seen complacency like it. <laughs> How are we now 5-3 up? It was 5-0. Look at this little set piece play as well. Yeah, they win 6-5 or something. Deflects off of the defender. Oh, Jesus. I kind of blame Larry. They've literally scored three in seven minutes. And all of a sudden, this game has just gone from really comfortable to what are we doing? Right, okay. Simmer it on down. It's fine. We're going to put them back in their place. It's all going to be good. Owen, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, my friends. Um, You join us as we're busy throwing away a five-goal advantage. You, yeah, that's that's correct. We were five 0 up. Somehow we've conceded three goals, and now it's five three. And I'm not and I'm not I'm worried. I'll be honest. I'm worried. How was stream? Thank you so much for the raid. That was really kind of you. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I actually reckon we might win this seven three for some reason. I feel like we've got a couple of late random goals in us to just maybe Larry will be the catalyst for it. So Massey down the right, right. S links this great first touch. You've got so many bodies in the box. Just find one of them. It's Jean. Jean scores. Bang. Six three. No, it's offside. God's sake, this man. I'm going to persist with Jean for a little spell of matches. Why are we getting a replay from the moment the goal kick was taken? Okay, that's the thing I've noticed. I'm assuming you guys have seen this too, when you'll get like a disallowed goal replay from the moment the ball entered the arena. <laughs> Massive cup upset against you. Ah, that's less than what you want. FM just doing FM things at this point, isn't it? I'm liking this top four though. Like, with... Zaba we figured would be good this season, and they are. Okay, we get away with it in the end, but like, what was that second half from us? Jean, I mean, he wasn't great, was he? But I'm going to persist with him. Now, I'm wondering if it is down to match sharpness. I feel like we need to give him a run of matches and rotate the other two around a little bit, just to let Jean get himself up to speed, because after all, he's a permanent signing. We need him to be good for us. Uh, Big and Carrot as well have kind of entered the uh, battle arena a little bit more uh, vociferously lately. Oh, love that a plus yeah Mar well to be fair Granillo stepped things up lately as well like Granillo has got has got nine goals and five assists this season he got four of those assists in one game admittedly against Slima but still he's actually done an underratedly solid job too it's a win precisely and he does send us top of the league for the first time and Molinar gets a couple of goals in there too which is love to see and now we get a little break oh hang on we're playing Zabar next seven unbeaten we failed to score less than two in every single game Five seven five two two five four. That's a lot of goals. In fact, how many goals have we scored? Thirty nine times. We, I love that. We've conceded twenty two goals. That's the same as teams down towards the very bottom. But when you score thirty nine in that period, it does not matter. We're on for like a nearly a hundred goal season potentially <laughs> in a league with only twenty six games. We'll concede like sixty, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Might even be sellable. I think he's got good value, but we'd have to find someone to buy him. A master schlock just like the only team in Malta that don't understand the vibes. Oh, Jesus. Eight goals scored and only 14 conceded. But they're winning a few matches. And look at that little record there. Just Christ, also, what happened to Marsa? They massively fell off. But then again, they only really promoted. Right. Magnetizing Marsa. Yes, please. You've been excellent lately, Lucas. Well played. Hello. Ah, oh, well... Well, looky who it is. So, Viking, I was telling chat earlier about your uh, actorial debut upcoming. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Cinders! It's old Cinders! It's... Uh... I'm more stern with Jean. Now we got to get... Oh, recruitment me. Oh, shit. Nearly dropped my entire water bottle off there. Actorial, yes! <laughs> class... Big old cinders. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we'll cancel that. Kamara's making progress. That's really good. That's actually the first time we've had really many emails like that. But that makes me think that the new training schedules are already working. Yeah, look at the upward hours we're getting now. Love to see that. Uh, definitely going to turn 
Wait, why is he on those? Yeah, no. No, thank you. I need to go in and do that. I've also set up the training intensities too, which is good. D oh, Diop. Who's Diop? Was he the other guy we were looking at? Oh, yeah, we were, weren't we? Oh, no, he can't play in the positions he wanted. <laughs> Voctorial. Ah, I actually said actorial, personally, which is probably also not a word, Owen, I realise. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I did. Oh, who's me? But I'd already got these new training schedules input before then. So I'm just going to use these for the moment. Um, in fact, I think we need to actually stick some in because I yeah I haven't actually done that yet so we'll it's a Saturday game uh, I think that's just the basic one isn't it because these ones seem to work quite well for the moment but yeah I want to have a look at the RDF ones too but I'd literally installed these moments before I saw that mismatch uh, so far we've played we've actually only played two games we had a three all because the games have been so mad three all in the cup which we won on penalties after being two goals down on two separate occasions we've just beat goodyear five three away from home in a game where we were five nil up and then managed to concede three goals so pretty much standard maltese stuff from us anyone uh no no one everyone's got a club kosoka fuck he's good oh, he's not got an agent Who's been Diop's already on loan here? The problem is he doesn't suit our style. Uh, you're at the bottom of this list. I mean, these guys just... If, it's Don Bosk. Wait, what? <laughs> Chat, he's back. He's back. <laughs> but this time in Dr. Congo form. Is this man just like ubiquitous oh, in football somehow? That's the second club we've found that has him on the back. Also, why is his face like... Why is their badge someone kicking a football at his face? This is Dr. Don Bosco, of course. Dadson and Pouty, thank you very much for the follows. Uh, I haven't uh, left football because that's not uh, that's not out yet. That's the new version of the skin, which I don't have yet. But that's fun that they exist. Uh, Roger, we don't, we can't sign Roger. In fact, I'm going to just ignore other players from uh, Maltese sides here because imagine if they let us have him back on loan again. Different environment. What about if I pay his wages? What is his wage? Nope. Okay. What environment do they want exactly? To be fair, they were being balanced to us when he was here. We've already kind of decided to screw them anyway. Uh, what we got then? It's a really cheap dude here. Javorn. Not that we need any more strikers. So we are going to have to find some at some point. And he's at Zabar. So, right. It's just these guys that really need to be have a closer look at. Uh, we've got this chap here. who's an Ivorian international, annoyingly. Another right side with mm, mm. he's just not as good as he's right side winger as well Sitionen Konate agent maybe nah yeah that dude is Antigua oh hang on I think he is yep he's from Antigua and Barbuda obviously yeah but to be fair the reason that we probably aren't going to get him though is because um but they we already had him on loan this season and they recalled him because we were playing him in the wrong role Somehow they would have that information. Incredibly. Five fitness. Yeah, but that's not... I mean, he's got good stamina. The natural fitness just means he'll have a short career. Larry... Yeah, we we definitely do need another right back. But this guy... I mean, we wouldn't be able to afford him, but he is very much one to keep an eye on, I would say. Because his contract ends... We might be able to get him on a pre-contract, potentially. And we are looking for some... Because we've got a lot of midfielders that are on loan. And look at the passing and vision. First touch is solid. He's 23. I would like to be able to find some slightly younger players just because we need the homegrownness. But it's difficult to find those guys with the agent offers. I swear we already got Andrea to turn his playing time down. Oh, he's the cup goalkeeper. Oh. Uh... Okay, that's fine. We just make sure we have to play um, Andrea in the cup. To be fair, we played him in the last cup game, didn't we? Just not this one. So we'll play him in the next cup round, which I think is soon, right? Oh, no, it's not for ages yet. Watch him complain about playing time, even though he's the cup goalkeeper. Because I bet you the game doesn't know the difference. Should be free to loan. Uh, yeah, but that, we don't know about him, so therefore we can't loan him. As in, it's not been brought to us by our scouts, so therefore we wouldn't know about the player, so we can't loan him. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Has been 50% of cup games. True. But as long as he doesn't kick off again before the next cup game, that's how we'll know if it actually works. 
Actually, let's just see, because now there's a promise, isn't there? 57 days. Right. Okay, let's let's see. 57 days. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of time. That cup game is... Uh, no, nothing yet so fantastic, because we're only in the start of... Well, we're like midway through season two, so there just aren't any regens yet that actually are any good anyway. Fragrant names in chat. Oh. But provided he doesn't kick off before then, because we're not playing him in league matches, as long as the game knows that Inferno... Well, yeah, I mean, Inferno... What if we get any more knowledge over time? He's, like, annoyingly good. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's not, but, like, the things I can see, that passing vision... Sorry, passing finishing first touch looked very solid. Oh, you can take preview. Right then, what are we saying? It's going to be an E, isn't it? It's going to be a half-star E-rated youth intake again. There's really no reason why it won't be. Because we haven't improved anything. And, oh yeah, no, they will be in the first few years, Trucker, but we're not in those years yet. And E, half-star youth rating. We're in Malta, and we have shit facilities. Is it a bug to say? I don't know, but regardless, I can't expect we're going to get much from it. It's just... I would be amazed if we get a single usable player in this entire save. Even in the early stages from our youth intakes. Uh, Valletta win. Hamrun win. Ikikara win. Okay, this is getting like a top four breakaway battle now. Hey, the two shitters got some points against each other. And it might allow Floriana to get out of the, re rele the relegation zone. Bags of money in this save. Uh, depends on which database you're playing us. Uh, if you're playing on the original version, then yes. If you're playing on the newer version, then no. Uh, you shouldn't do. Well, unless you've got, like, European football and stuff. Uh, we have £23,000 in the bank. We'll get some more, though, because I think our game against... No, it's not Zabar, is it? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, this one is televised. Nice. Change to recruitment. Do you know what affects youth intakes? Um, so, the best person to, like... So, EBFM has a fantastic series on FM23, but I can't imagine this has changed much for FM24. The way it goes through all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, so basically, uh, since we were able, when we did the reset for everything, we managed to make some other changes to make the database so much more difficult. Because one of the things we had to put in place because of that stupid stadium thing was the increased funds. Because when clubs were constantly doing these elections, they were going into administration all the time. But we also managed to remove the elections thingy and replace them with a normal chairman, which means the clubs don't have new owners very often. So they can go into more debt without having the same problems. So we could have managed to massively reduce the amount of money that was being flowed in. Which was dope. And that's why I'm so much more happy with the way that the save is sitting right now. He's not bad. In fact, he's a little injury prone. Samba Kone. Because remember, on this left-hand side, we really only have Bismarck Asare and Azarai. Yeah, I saw that. Huzbi. I'm um, going to check that after stream. It's an interesting topic. Because he's fast. He can cross. He can dribble. But obviously, that's not a winger spot. It's an inverted fit. But even so, they're still getting up doing quite a lot of winger-like play on the left-hand side. Failing FFP. Um, I've seen a lot of clubs... When I was doing my simulations to the future for the latest video I did, I noticed on multiple occasions, I think maybe even up to five occasions, there was a team that had gone into administration in the Premier League, possibly because of that exact reason, um, and were deducted points. So I think there is definitely something there. I just don't know exactly what. It seems like the more, there is more of that. Never been fired, no. Um, the closest we came was when we uh, lost the title one year with uh, Tromsø. And we weren't, like, at the start of the save. We were in, like, season 17. And we lost the title to Mulder randomly one year. Because they were just on fire. And the board were very close to attacking me. So the plan in those situations is... By then, we've usually picked a pet club that we really like. And we'll just take over them, basically. It's not happened yet, though, thankfully. George C. Stokes, thank you very much for the 11 months. I hope you're well. See how much he wants, right? Important player, stepping stone. That just means a release cause. I'll offer him the contract he wants. So that we'll see if it gives us lower money on it. Oh. Surely that's worth it. Sam Bacone on £500 a week. He looks like a really solid player for that left side. It's also a permanent signing. So we don't have to worry about having all the loans because I really want to start moving away from having all the loans all the time because it's much easier to get attached to players when they're permanent signings as well. And it's going to make our lives more easy anyway. I wonder if I can get him a longer contract. 
but maybe offering them that relegation release cost of zero. Why did he add that in too? It's like, you're doing this favor for me, but allow me to just want more. Sale value, precisely, yeah. Three years, that's fine. And if we do end up selling him, he's got a release cost of 1.1 million pounds. We only need one of these players to... Uh, sorry, Peter, my bad. Oh, I get confused sometimes because I think it's a song request sometimes. Uh, Jadera, Michael. I hope I'm spelling that right. There he is. Oh, Mosta. Holy shit, he's actually decent. From Slovan Liberets. Like, he's, he's not the quickest, but he's got solid tent poles. Good on both... Well, goodish on both feet. Low consistency, but he's only 21. That's a really nice pickup for Mosta. And bear in mind, they're second tier. What's he done this season? Six goals and two assists already for them in the second flight. What's the second tier looking like at the moment, actually? So Tarshi to top. Mosta and Nasha Lions are right in there. No one scored a single free kick goal yet. San standard. Reminds me of FM a few years ago. What about the third tier? Anyone doing any mad shit there? Looks pretty normal, honestly. No weirdness going on. App is in your desktop taskbar and doesn't open. Uh, I think... I, I don't, but I suspect that the way to go about that would be to maybe use Task Manager to like permanently shut the process and then try again. Players club role. Oh, um, if you go into the player's profile, just uh, we find uh, Jean. I'm not actually going to do it, obviously. If you go to happiness, and then you can do it from here. That's interesting. So, bear in mind, he's agreed playing time with star player, but his expectations in the next five matches our important player. I like that. It's like the game's actually being a bit more sensible about it. Big fan. We'll see if it works. For the ones with pitches. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Basically. Oh, we're coming back to Dingley. Don't you worry. People have a game. Absolutely not. Of course not. He is in the save file, technically, because it's just something we leave out to other people to decide. But no, I wouldn't be signing, obviously. Um... And he just wouldn't be anyway. Uh, so I want to keep... I want to bring Traore back in. Uh, I feel so sorry for Granillo, but Marz is just better. Oh, yeah, no, but literally, let's just do our regularly scheduled looking through the nationalities in players in the squads in this save. I mean, look, Burundi. Wait, what if he's related to Gael Bagirimana? Kyrgyzstan, Somalia. And even as you go further down, oh, wow, Vittoriosa. Less so. But Comoros, Brunei. There's a, literally a Brunei dude. Eritrea. Three Estonians. Zayton have got three Estonians in their team. Have they got a staff member from Estonia? They do. Their doff is a guy called Hans Roos. And this is why it's cool. Because their doff is Estonian, they've got three random Estonian lads because they have Estonian knowledge because of their doff. That's lovely. Zurich. Loads of Maltese, there's a bit of Brazil in there. N Nagel Coffee from, um, is that Bonnet? Wow, Bonnet. That's dope. Montserrat in there too. Solomon, lots of Solomon Islands knocking about. Uh, bit of Eritrea again. Bit of uh, St. Bart's. Lots of Solomon Islands. I don't know why there's so many. I think it's just because the reputation is so low. Leah have got a couple of Malagasy dudes. Elephony, nice. And let me guess, first names, yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, no. That's surprisingly sh shortest named Malagasy player of all time there. New Caledonia. The third tier is going to be even crazier. Actually, it might not be because they're... Uh... That... I don't know why. I think the reason they've got some of the Zanzibar and Solomon Islands guys is simply because the reputation is so low that the agents are just flogging them to anybody. And because obviously Malta... Th these guys are probably workable players in that division at least. Three more Malagasy dudes that make... Are... How have they done that? That was just a mystery. That they're extremely cheap, yeah. And obviously there's Mostar with Belarus. Two Zanzibar dudes. Few, wow, look at this one. Nasha. Oh, that's Nasha. That's why they've got more well, Bahamanian dude, Curacao, Comoros. I want to look at the third tier. Because this should be a lot more just full Malta, I would have thought. Because they're just smaller sides, so they've got less scouting knowledge. Albania, Sri Lanka. Couple of Romanians there at Kalkara. What? 
Sorry. Kia Cup have two players from American Samoa. That's half the national team. Kia Cup with the double American Samoas. Look at this. How? Why? I think it is, like you said, just because they're cheap. So they've got Kelvin Siong, who has 11 caps for them, and Poasa Collins, who has nine caps. You love to see it. That's wonderful. Do you enjoy geography? is fucking fun. Um, I assume you're picking geography, right? I never did geography at GCSE. I did history, and I never regretted that because I've always been fascinated with history because I had an amazing teacher. Uh, that, wow, an entirely multi-squad still. Venezuelan dude, Nigerian. Oh, that. Oh yeah, Maga, they've got the uh, Mongolian staff member, don't they? Or the guy that has Mongolian knowledge because there's two Mongolian dudes there. Brazil. Brazil again. This was like Kate Bush. Hong Kong. Another Mongolian dude. An American. Just a random English dude. A couple of Lithuanians at Rabat Ajax. I think my favourite one there, though, is the random... Is three Gibraltarians at St. George. Wow, they've got... They must have been relegated from the second tier. They've got Pakistani guy. St. Kitts and Nevis. Love that. But yeah, the, the Estonian knowledge one is really fun. Uh, oh, no, I already set the team up, didn't I? There might be some more lookups, though. I'll get to that as well. Oh, Matt Hadrian. Let's see it. Yeah. Come down the rabbit hole. Uh, there he is. Gopping defensive midfield. Yeah, I mean, you are just not going to be good, are they? Are you? It just... I'm expecting... In fact, I better just keep history after a timer on you. <laughs> just in case. You, you know what? We might even be able to sign you. That's how bad you are. <laughs> Quite frankly, if I, I might have to do that on. Um, I need to go through at some point and put uh, keep history. How am I in this save? Not that much better. In fact, I would argue that I'm possibly even worse. Although I might have good finishing, but I'm still not a particularly good player. I'm still pretty shocking. Uh, Nick Makuti. Uh, no, nope, sadly not. Uh, back we go. Right, cool. I have pace and potentially finishing, maybe. Like, right, exactly. I'm just mid, except I'm not mid. I'm far below. Have I got any comparisons on my profile or anything? No. <laughs> just nothing. Just the fact that I bought in Barbados is wild. Uh, no, you can't add regions mid-save. Um, I had to do that thing with Cap, but that wasn't really the same thing. Yeah, watch me conveniently become the greatest player of all time. Right. Uh, this is Amity Affliction. Was this a request from stream? Because, big fan of that. I was like, I don't remember putting this on my playlist, but that's even better. Someone re from chat requests it. Oh, uh, yeah, Mike is in the game. I don't know if he's in here yet. Uh, I, always spell, I always spell his name wrong every single time. Also, is it Michael Holford, isn't it? Oh, that, my, always, every, that name gets me every time. But no. Um... Yeah, no mic yet. Good old Mike sit on. GB32FM, thank you for the 19 The 19 months? The 9 months. It's very kind of you. Right then, Matto. It will What are we yeah. naming our baby while Amity Affliction muses our labor? I think we should call her Young Bloods after one of my favorite songs by Amity Affliction. Right, I'm going to have a quick pee and then we'll be back in a minute. Don't worry. We've got the usuals coming and hopefully everything's not broken today. So, where's my BRB button? I've literally lost it. Uh, right, back in a second, I'm going to get myself a Popsy.
So, the answer chat is Sande Silva. Uh, it's a current player this time around. I'm sure someone got it. I did see the word silver in there. Yeah, there it is. Ah, but yeah, he's only 23. He's only 26 in real life. But I thought I'd go for a current player this time just to mix things up a little bit. Was you the one that got it, Vagbus? I think it was the first one I heard as well. Or it might have been RIP Foghorn now that I think about it. You love to see it. Or, in this case, listen to it. Uh, Jaden Heskey. Is that Heskey's son? Wait, is this... Hang on. Did you request Youngbloods as well? <laughs> Tune. I didn't realise you did that. <laughs> A very satisfying purpose indeed. Sadly... Oh, no, there he is. Why did he come up lower than the others? Bath saver. Adam Wright from the Solomon Lines. No way. 199... Yeah. Fucking hell. That's amazing. What? Who did he... Did he come through at City or did he... He must have done, surely. So there's Jaden Heskey. He's injured at the moment. Doing appear in the task board. That is very strange. That might be a restart your computer type of jobby. He doesn't even look that bad, honestly. I was going to say, it won't say father at Emil Heskey or anything, will it? Because um, Heskey's not in the game as like a... Um, so as... Like last time, uh, Papa, I'm going to reject that because I've already looked it up and it wasn't there. Um, and I don't even think that's a real lockup anyway. So, you know... But next time if you do it again, I'll just start taking your points. <laughs> uh, do that, that as well. And Suliano. Place for Melbourne City. Really? Actually, that does make a little bit of sense. They do have quite a good youth academy. Suliano, Dolly. This guy here. Somebody once told me <sighs> the world is going to roll me. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, bud? <laughs> Mikey, thank you very much for the 42. How are you finding um, Death Must Die? I saw you playing it earlier. It made me think to tell chat. Oh, he's a real player. My apologies in that case. Um, but I did already look him up and he wasn't in the database. So, but that's my bad. It's one of those ones that sounds borderline like a, just like a, like a parody lookup. Too many hours. It's very good. Starting season three. Um, hang on, let's get down in a sec. Oh, damn. 16. Yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, for some reason, I thought he was a striker, but he's not. That makes him even better, actually. That passing at 60 is crazy good. Hey, Arabas. On a Manchester City, well, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Hence why he's at Manchester City in your save, I guess, right? But this guy, Fijian, hasn't moved to Malta just yet, but he's getting there. He's, he's on the way. But yeah, as for scouting for season three, we're going to have a little look at some amateur stuff, but it might still be one season too soon for us. But we'll have a look. I'm still continuing to keep an eye on, like, the Belgian um, national... Because that's basically how we know it's ready. Once the Belgian national team starts having some of those players in it, then we'll know we're ready. Nah, see, he's still on a youth contract. That's the same guy. Yeah, it's just not quite ready yet. They need to have a chance to build up some playing time, basically. So we'll sort of get an idea of who might... I mean, we can have a little look, actually. Uh, except we can't, because... I... Well, we... Actually, I don't think I'm even able to do this because we don't have scouting of Belgium available. So I'm not sure if this is even going to work. Uh, we'll just check. We can always turn it up for a second and have a look. Oh, no, so you do have a little bit of knowledge of them. Um, but what I want now is contract status. So that's actually... There's one dude here. Don't want based in. Oh, true... Yes, true. Yeah, actually, that would be better because that would get us um, players that meet the same criteria but don't actually aren't Belgian nationality uh, based. Yeah, but oh, it's an Indian dude. Hello. Okay. Intriguing. But he's 40. He, he's 40 years old. So... You can see that we've not got any yet. Uh, unless I quickly just... Oh, I, can't, I literally can't even do that. Um, yeah, so what I mean, we're not quite at the stage where we can quite do that sort of thing just yet, but we're not far off of it. It will depend on how much money we can get together this season, basically, going into next year. Like, we'll have a decent amount because I think we're going to finish top four. So that's going to get us a nice amount as well. And maybe, like, one good sale and we could be in a position where we could actually do a bit more uh, world... A bit more vibrant scouting, I suppose, to... Yeah, that's the plan anyway. It's the Indian dude. Solomon Kalou. Yeah, but we still can't sign him. 
I didn't realise he was as old as that now. I remember when he used to play for Fulham. Yeah, no, Croatia definitely does have some because I've noticed some cremation... Crema, crema, Croatian... Uh, yes, I know Emil Sancho, unfortunately. Fred Rich is definitely in the game. That was the first sort of um, set we got that came through. Fred Ridge might actually be an okay player. Let me just hit... Every time we do one of these lookups, I have to remember to tick that. Airing covered. I think he was, you know. Yeah. Can't say. Uh, well, you will get a lot of players, Jim. And also, with the fact that we have Cooper, no scouting, basically, you know, outside of Malta, it's kind of pointless at this stage yet. We're going to start team report scouting. Uh, once you have enough scouting budget to do so. Uh, Mr. Database, look up. Uh, no, I haven't missed it. I just haven't got to it yet. It's, we have to be patient with database lookups. Come on now. I'm literally doing them as we speak. It's just this one was before it. Like, I'm just doing them in the order they appear. It's a bit small for a fridge. I mean, maybe he's just a very wide fridge. Good way to find players. Yes. Very good. Um, I have... It's part of my... It's in my scouting video. But it also has a separate video, uh, which I think if you do exclamation mark... It is holding absence, yeah. The season one, uh, it'll come out at the same time as the season two band video. Basically, because it'll be the same video. It'll be one long video with season one and season two. Spain has some too, yes. But again, we don't have scouting knowledge of those nations. So we can't scout the players. So it's all very well them existing. But if we can't actively see if they're any good or not, it doesn't matter. That's what I mean. So we have to wait until we can actually actively scout the players. Because I'm not going to just like punt on random players for reasonable like money. Well, we can't actually scout them. That's the issue, really. Must be done instantaneously. <laughs> yeah, holding absence are great. Uh, the, is it amateurs or amateur? That's the Belgian one, I think. It's in the main scouting video as well, but if you want, like, a cutaway to it. Um, so, yeah, Ben Stanway. Um, there we go. And after all that, he's not even in the database. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Um, right, the brothers. The brothers... Let me just type in Sazmas and I can get... I can't remember what the other name is. Because uh, you definitely have Jen, don't you? There you go. So there's your uh, there's your Patreon one. At or B. The amount of different clubs that your other guy Jen's at is actually kind of wild. Also, Peerbeck. Good name. And then... Wait, what? Hang on. What? I okay, Saz, I've never seen you, Jen, at a non-Danish club before. That's wild. You've gendered Legia. Okay. Every single... I've done 40 different simulation tests when I was building in the Patreon regions, right? Obviously, this is an actual face in the game, not a Patreon Uber. one, which is why Do you can gender different clubs. I am familiar but at no point did I ever see your guy gen at a non-Danish club. He's come through at Legia. That's wild. Does he have... He doesn't even have a second nationality. He was born in Slagelsta. Red Leicester and Saunders. Thank you for the follows, guys. You'd love to see it. What if he'll... Oh, he doesn't even look that good. Imagine if he became like a... He ends up declaring for Poland or something. That'd be dope. Okay, I'm really glad we did that lookup now. Oh, you'd love to see it. Is it really? Holman McCormick. That's a play we... Yeah, it's like the Watek brothers. Yes. Imagine if you were like different nationalities at the end of it. Ah, oh, I remember Holman. I swear we tried to sign him with MTK. I'm almost certain we did. Next, Romadal. What the... Was he really? Oh, he is? No way. To be fair, it says that about a lot of people. Not specifically Romadal, but it does have a random... Uh... Watch the actual... Watch this one. Genuinely be a really good player now. I suspect that Sazmaz might be quite good. It might be a battle between Sazmaz and Ian Furno at the moment. Although there was another one too. Um, James Render at Bradford. He looked pretty solid too. Particularly coming through at Bradford. But yeah, that's Holman. Big fan of his mayo. Bruce Spring... Oh, that's a song request, isn't it? <laughs> I was about to look up Bruce Springsteen playing for Atlantic City. <laughs> oh, did I not do it? My bad. Yeah, I've got to remind myself to do that every time we go to one of these profiles. <laughs> oh, dear. What is this Bruce Springsteen dude? Playing for Atlantic City, you say? Uh, oh, there you are. Actually, oh yeah, we looked at you last time. He, your guy, honestly, might be quite workable. Like, solid jumping reach, solid tent poles, headings maybe a little on the low side, but for Peterborough United as well, he looks like an actual... 
decent player. Imagine if we actually find a guy called Springsteen. I don't think the name is in the database, sadly. Then again, while I was trying to do that thing for Cap, I did find that there is, in fact, a player in the database whose name is Captain. And I'd like to show you him now. And this chat is Captain Bashir. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> because obviously when I was trying to find Cap, it wouldn't let me change the name, but it had to select an additional name. So I typed in Cap and it came up with Captain. And yeah, so there's a Sud Sudanese dude called Captain Bashir, which I just really like as a name. And Captain can pass. Uh, I don't know what his leadership is though, which is uh, a problem. Your region. Uh, bro, <laughs> I am going to need like... Oh, actually, no. I think I actually do know your one as it goes. Uh, Ewan Jones. Now, I believe you... Janet Carnarvon. Yes. Unfortunately, the likelihood of you being good, Jenning at Carnarvon, was always going to be a tough one for you. I did actually see a really good version of you in one of my tests, but you are nevertheless in the database at Carnarvon. Yep. Imagine if we could have Captain Screamer. Captain Screamer. That'd be great. I am the captain now. Consider the lead up, but you have to be, right? Hey, Ulums. Uh, we've actually not played that many games so far. We've just been... Oh, you're 6-7. We're just checking out some Patreon regens at the moment. Bring on the oh, also, a white man can, in fact, jump. Welshman can jump. Madzel, thank you for the follow. Uh, your one is Dan Strong, isn't it? This is definitely you. Yeah, this has got to be you, right? Because it was a really interesting set of combinations. So, yeah, Dan Strong at Sporting. Jenning at Sporting. There's a ch there's a likelihood that you might end up being quite decent. Right, did I do it? Make sure that's ticked as well. And we move. Right, now we can get to a game and hopefully slap... Oh, it's the big one. Scre it's a screamer. So screamer shithole shit could actually work, yeah. Cooper, right, it's, it's us versus me. the Argentinian national team. Fifarium, thank you for the follow. I am programmed to get freaky. Okay. Oh shit, we're going up against Panash. They've also got a guy called Asan Youf. I know it's Yof, but like still. Land of Dawn, enjoy your sleep, my friend. Sweet dreams. Uh, cool. Let's go. This is a very interesting team that they've already put together. Even without, they've got Lucas Senna. So even without, like, Harry's. They're still very solid. We know that Panache is going to score against us. It's just... Yeah. To be fair, the only one that did that was looking kind of good was um, Joshua Hambusher. Yeah, Mutter Magnoca is brilliant. They're actually not in that much debt, but they are spending... They're like top four in wage spending already. Which is crazy as we already take the lead through Kelly and Hamadi. 1-0. If we could put them in the ground a little bit here. Ooh, is F is uh Is FM being a silly billy again? It is a little bit there. You can calm the fuck down, FM. Chill out, bro. Let's see. Yeah, it's 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 GPU in my Jeepers. No no, FM, we've had a word here. It's weird that it started off absolutely Oh there we go, it's fine now. Strange. I wonder what triggers it. Let me become semi-pro, uh, as in from an app from which I'm guessing going from amateur to semi-pro, right? <gasps> Potentially, Hadrian. Um, so the I managed to look at like the crash reports using like who crashed and looked at the various different things, and it seemed to indicate that memory overheating issues was causing the blue screens. Um, oh, it's still a GTX 970, Mikey. But but obviously, since I've started turning off. I restart the computer before every stream now, and we haven't had a blue screen since then. So I think it was something to do with Adobe. Potentially that was, anyway. Uh, Madzel, thank you so much for the Prime. That's really nice of you, man. Well, no, I've actually... I, what I do is I restart the PC before, ev um, before every stream now and turn off everything. So Creative Cloud has nothing loaded at all. Ah, what we missed? So, so far, high-scoring matches in general, pretty much. I don't think we've had a single game so far that's been less than... We had the three all draw, which went to penalties. We then had the 5-3 win. And there was another game in there as well, wasn't there? Oh, Jean's through. It's three. Jean finally scores a nice open play goal. We need that. Now, FM doesn't use much at all. 
but i think what it i don't know so like so what it actually is is for some reason fm will randomly cause obs to suddenly use loads of gpu for some reason that's what's actually causing the stuttering so when it, when it stutters and if i look in task manager the, the gpu consumption if you like is 100 percent nearly or 98 a lot of the time and it's obs that goes through the roof for no reason and i don't know what causes it to do it it's very strange we're three up against the bar with three shots on target in fact three shots three shots three goals you'll love to see it they just they can't play with the big boys yet they're not ready to be honest, I wouldn't be opposed to them not getting Europe this season anyway, because it would allow us to... Because they will next year anyway. I guess he's just random like that, honestly. Very strange. A minimum wage for... I don't know, Thomas. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, oh, 729. Thank you very much for the follow. Just catch up on those as well. This feels like Carly Ray. Every single one has entire different keyboard shortcuts. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I mean, I... Fiona! Obviously, I regularly use Photoshop and Premiere, pretty much. After Effects to a lesser extent, but I do use it quite frequently as well. Everything else I kind of don't use. I need to upgrade some stuff. I think it's just like a random arbitrary limit or who's me. Jay Daddy, thank you for the follow. Did they really? If they sack their manager, that could actually be... Ca they're never going to sack their manager at this rate, though. He'll end up leaving to someone else. But remember, they're a newly promoted side. That being said, they might have higher aspirations just because of all the money they've spent. That manager, though, that has just been fantastic for them with all the Argentinian players they've been able to bring in. But it must be costing them a lot. Yeah, it's just not the actual price of the cards, Mikey. It's the fact that I'd have to buy a new PSU to go with it too, most likely, because this one is already... I didn't think about scaling when I built it, so my PSU is kind of underpowered. It's fine for what I currently have, but any kind of upgrade is going to use more wattage that I simply do not have the capacity for. So I'd have to upgrade that and possibly have to upgrade the motherboard as well. It's one of these, like, probably just going to wait and build a new PC soon in general because we're at a case of just buying another graphics card i'd have just like yeah whatever but like that's what i'm probably gonna have to do oh here we go Marza. just a big tackle from ferola he's a this is a bop yeah he'd be the guy that rescues floriana because they i still don't think they'll go down but they're probably gonna end up finishing really off the pace this year good ball in we haven't conceded yet so that's oh no oh no no it is <laughs> there it is luciano dominguez Bye-bye clean sheet bonus for the goalkeeper. I do feel a bit for him there. Also good to see Jean scoring, though. Like, he's got an open play goal. That's better. We were due the can say... Oh, I need to make a sub or two. He struggled. That guy that we might be able to get on... A we'll get Grenio in for a little bit, even though he's on his wrong foot, potentially. Uh, it's time to bring on Larry. No, no, we're going to do Gideon this time. Going to give Gideon his little chance. Larry's... Larry seems like a harbinger of doom. Every time I bring him on, things start to go wrong for us. So I feel like we're going to try Gideon for a little bit. See if that makes things any better. We have not played that well in this game, in fairness. Like, Zabar have given us a good run. But we are going to get the win. And it will push us seven points above them. Still massively tight at the top. Oh, go on, John. Gideon's, I think they're, yeah, Gideon's, I think, 34. Go on, Bismarck. Create a little bit of space. Get a fourth goal. That'll put them in the... Really bed them in. And... Oh, another one for Jean. Excellent news. In the 96th minute, Jean grabs his second goal of the game. And that's a bit more like it. Um, Just getting him a few more goals. Bedding him into the squad a little bit more. Once that match fitness starts to creep up. It's only 76 right now. I think he could be a lethal player for us. And it would stop us having to rely on so many loans. And it would also bump his value up. If he starts getting loads of goals. And maybe we can reinvest it. MTK get it. Well, it is a guy called Gideon. I like Larry more because of it, but uh, right, cool. Just a that's a really good result against a very strong side in this division. I think that's also man of the match for Jean. Oh my god, an insane goal! I'll just say what? the most insane goal. On LA, on LA. I also hate that I don't even know who that was, because you can put like a custom name on it. Uh, thank you very much for the £50 donation. Who was that? Please uh, please at least make yourself known in the chat. We well, don't have to, of course. But I just want to be able to thank you like, to actually know who it is to thank you. Holy shit, that was wild. Uh, but thank you so much. That's insanely nice of you. What the fuck, man? We'll, put, we'll stick that in the fund. Holy Christ. 
Oh my god. No, you're right. They are in debt. Uh, they're in £200,000 worth of debt, Arzabar. No, <laughs> that's just a dude that's conveniently called PC Fund. <laughs> to be fair, Pog and I actually are getting pizza later because um, when we, we had dinner, we had like lunch slash... It was like, you know when you eat at like 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon and you just don't feel hungry later in the day? Because that's when we had lunch with Mike yesterday. So we just didn't really eat anything in the evening. Holy shit. Well, yeah, obviously, if that was meant to be a fiver, then please do let me know because I can actually sort that out. Have we signed Rigobuti? No, we can't. He's on earning too much money at too high. He's playing in League 2 now. Police Constable Fund. <laughs> Police Constable Fund. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. Late lunch is like, oh yeah, of course, but that wasn't my point. It was more a case of like, they're not feeling hungry later because of it. Um, That's just me, in it. It's kind of crazy that Zabar have actually, they've done back-to-back -back promotions and now, well, now they are, but yeah, they're oh overspending their way. Bug champ. What the fuck? What's going on? Is that, an is that another 50? I couldn't even fucking read it. I really need to sort of way to actually be able to read these because they don't show up on my... Oh, was that... Did that say... Because you guys can read that better than I can. Did that say OK Pizza Fun? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Who was that? Thank you again. Uh, please don't... Is it time where I do the fiscal responsibility? Um, talk? I think it is, chat. Uh, because that that's reached our threshold on that um as always with anything like this please um i really hope that this is just like a thing you're able to afford comfortably and you're just being extremely nice and i'm very grateful for that i just don't want anyone to ever do anything like this that puts them in a position where they can't afford to do something that's that's that would make me feel horrible and i would not want that um but if that is all good on your side then thank you so much that is extremely generous of you and far more generous than i deserve but again thank you so much that's incredibly nice Pog would probably be crying if she was here. Don't ask questions. <laughs> oh, I'm like Scientology. It, it, it is Ragnar, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't at least... Like... I, I, I hate this idea that, like, um, people... I, I think what I, do, what I don't like is I feel like sometimes streamers sometimes have an attitude of, like... Um, well, people can do what they want. So, yeah, people can do what they want, but sometimes people do things that they maybe shouldn't do, even if that's what they want to do, if that makes sense. And I'm trying to at least try to be responsible for people in some way if I can do. So same, you'll see the same thing whenever there's any large amounts May of gifts and subs and stuff like pizza. that, you know? PC I feel like that's fun. important. So I've got to look after you as much as you lot look after me, right? Savika, thank you very much for the six months. Yes, you can, my friend. You've just got me a nice little uh, bit of fudge cake. And I do like the fudge cake from there. That's the thing, because I don't know any more situations. Police constable I, I want to be careful. Needs a promotion. Police constable fund needs a promotion. <laughs> Is that just going to be a new thing now? Police constable fund. Do you see what I mean, though, Ragnar? Right. Um, I still have a responsibility personally. I feel like I do anyway. Uh, but Don, thank you very much for the two hundred bits as well. That's very kind of you. Yeah, it doesn't always work, Tim. Um, but I feel like I should at least <laughs> a big forehead with a gift and sub to pizza fund. How has this gone from PC fund to pizza fund so quickly? <laughs> thank you, man. No, thank you very much. That's fairly nice of you, man. Oh, dear. What do you want the pizza for? Feet? Ah, how is this? I'll have a GPU, please. <laughs> no, I am, I'm building a new PC for FM25 because obviously we know that there's going to be graphical upgrades that are going to be required for that. So that was always part of the plan, basically. And I luckily that I will be in a position to do that this year because things have gone better with the YouTube stuff this year. Uh, and look to be going quite well. So it's going to allow me to actually build that PC, which is going to be dope. Pizza or a pizza? Well, I mean, to be fair, like a pizza is obviously going to be, unless you're buying the most expensive, it's not a Mr. Beast video, right? <laughs> we try the most expensive pizza in the world. PCs come and goes, but pizza is forever. True. Exodio, thank you very much for the 35 months. To be fair, I do sometimes just remember a really good pizza I have. It's not even a lie. I, I will remember certain particularly good pizzas. I can't think of any off the top of my head now, so please don't please don't assume that I am fibbing to you there, chat. Well, for stream, oh god, no, no. I, I again, I'm I'm not that kind of streamer. I am just a dude in a room with a PC and my my 10, 11 year old monitor. <laughs> no, no, it's just one PC that's running everything. Yeah, the Aaron Walker video is nearly at three hundred, which is mental, by the way, utterly mad. Hard to run from 25. It's true, but the match engine on the top of, of like a stuff crust is, is something else, let me tell you. 
pass on the topic. Oh, no, I tell you what, right? I love those um, Chicago Town ones. I think it's Chicago Town ones, or it's Goodfellas. It's the Stuff Cross ones you can get in Tesco. And now that they're price matching Aldi where I am, they're not cheap, but they're like three quid. And they're fucking tasty. So damn nice. It's the 20th goal of the season. No way. Yeah, I don't know if I want to try something that's quite that overpowered, um, but that does sound fun. Also, I love that we're being recommended bloody these kind of players. Although, look at this guy, Jibby Diop. It's another CM, admittedly. They are so good, right? Stack Bolivian. For some reason, when you said Stack Bolivian, my immediate thought was Evo Paturi, but obviously he's not a real player. Ramiro Mamami. I'm the Pope. Cooper, take it's a shame we can't do any more scouting on him, really. Oh, I'm so gutted. That, actually, am I actually that gutted now? I feel like we might have dodged a bullet on Abdul Arshad now. Rivalin, thank you very much for the follow. The Friday, two days before the previous show. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't had to play it, but I have seen it happen. Uh, you know, it was a conference game yesterday. It's like a conference league, that is. Kill and find everything. Oh. To be fair, one time when I was um, pogging our house sitting for our parents last year, we went from their local takeaway there. It was a fucking dream. Rivalin, whoa, holy shit. Thank you so much for the prime straight off the bat. That's insanely nice of you, friend. Yeah, Domino's around where I live is absolute gop. So we never order from it. But luckily where Viking lives is actually really nice. So we'll naturally get some of that in New Year. F1 today. I'm still on the fence about it. Might do. We'll see what we're, see what we're doing in the stream. And then I'll decide whether I want to stop for F1 or not. Uh, yeah, he's just not going to be able to be scouted any further, is he? Is there anyone that's not at a club? No. Right. Anyone at Maltese sides? Because we can't really do much with them at the moment. And they're all players that we already knew about anyway. Because the reason they're at... Don Bosco again. He's not very good, is he? Right. America to Cali. Free transfer. No, we don't need another goalkeeper. Even though he's really good, he would never sign for us. And if he did, it would be on stupid money. Yeah, I know it starts at one today, yeah. Kokovai. Yeah, we could try and get him back, but we don't really need him. Like, we've got stacked-ass midfield at this point. Unless we could get him permanently. Unless his contract was like... No way. He's playing for Seafoc. Christ, we actually could have got him for free. That's actually kind of annoying that we could have got Kokovai. Well, damn. Uh, let me just refund your points for that, since I did actually catch that one out of the corner of my eye. Uh, he's alone, so there's not much we can do about that. Isakata. Please tell me you're on the other side. Oh, he actually is. He'd be a really good inverted winger. I reckon we um, shortlist him as well. And then maybe go for him once January hits. Either go for him or the other guy. A few, we're getting quite a few players from Senegal recommended to us now, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Not sure why we are, but good God. I mean, if some of these guys are cheap, then January could be an absolute boon for us picking these guys up on free transfers, maybe. What about Jibby? Same thing with the contract, right? I'm just going to shortlist all of these guys because then we'll get a, a notification when their contracts are like six months from expand, uh, expanding? Expiring. And then Nyangulu is Kenyan. No, sorry, no, not Kenyan. Malawian. He's okay, but he's not as good as the other ones. Oh, sick. Right. Balzan's next. We should be in a quite good situation financially at the moment, right? Yeah. 32k. Kone, who's that? Oh, that was the other guy. We'd already signed him. Oh, it's a different dude. This will help us on that left side, I think. So Jean's left his agent. Is he now starting to cheer up a little bit too? Okay, so he's signed for us now, which is cool. But that does put us in like a... Yeah, we're kind of at the max of that right now. But finances are a little bit more healthy. He's a solid... No! <sighs> Everybody get your Duolingo out. <sighs> that cost us £27,000. £26,000. That just cost us. <laughs> I fucking hate that language costs now. Language courses now cost 28,000 quid. I need to just have that button removed. Temporarily, honestly. Oh, now he's convert. Well, I'll tell you what, that could help us out, though. 
Oh, I don't want to loan him out. Um, is there an option where I can say better if you just go permanently? Sick. We could maybe get some money for Malish then. Now, we might not be able to get much for him yet. It's good uh, you can. Does have some interest from elsewhere? The company should kind of make a bit more the transfer into the time. That's fine. Depressing. Jira. If they buy him off of us, that'd be wild. Jury, thank you very much for the follow. Right now, I can get back to these lookups. <laughs> See if there's any interesting constables while we're around. The Scott Constable and Dunstable. There's actually only one constable in the entire database, and it's actually a youngster as well. Yeah, that's concerning. Ah. We'll sell Malish. It'll all be fine. Yeah, I don't know what... I swear language courses never used to cost this much when you were a lower team. I thought that only cost loads when you were, like, a massive team. Maybe I just never noticed it because we were managing slightly bigger sides. And so that kind of money wasn't really a big deal to them. But 30... 26,000 quid is just mad to me. Uh, that's wrong. Someone quest right, let's move. I suppose it is a hard language, yeah. Christ. <laughs> well, we've got five grand. We've obviously got like an ent- Can't we just get like an enterprise license for Duolingo? And Larry's now injured. But I mean, it's fine because we've got CSA and we're not playing Larry to start with anyway, but... Unhappy. Huh? A fringe player? He's a fringe player, a player that starts over half the matches. What? I'm just going to say I'm going to sort it. That way we can get ourselves more time. I mean, he's... <sighs> yeah, he's got... Ah, oh, dear. I suppose, yeah, Maltese is quite a tough one to learn. God, I can't believe we just wasted 26,000 quid on that. So much for us putting ourselves in a slightly better financial position. Luckily, we've got one more game on uh, Chris on TV before Christmas. Well, before January, at least. We might still be able to spend a little bit in January. Particularly if we can win that cup game against... Uh, oh, against Zabar. Delightful. If we can knock them out of the cup, that will get us a nice bit of money that we can maybe move into something else. Right. Is he happier now? I wish that it would tell you... So he's getting that. Okay, cool. So that means it's fine. We can drop Hick We can put Higgins back in for this game. Jean will start again. Kone can make his first appearance for us too. I was going to say, all that money's going to have to go towards the fucking language courses now. It's a good amount of, I've not used them this year, so I have no opinion on them. But hey, that's a good amount of goals. A Spanish course. Yeah. I think that might be a visual glitch. You'd, you'd hope anyway. Yeah, no, I, I, we probably should... That's why and every time there's one of those scout reports, I'm just looking for any players who don't currently have clubs so I can just bring them into Malta no matter what. Uh, you're not going to be able to 12. Because someone will pick them up, right? A visual glitch in FM? No. The Bovril Premier League is going swimmingly at the moment. We are all way only top by a point, but that goal difference is fancy. And I don't know when our next really tough game is. Like, Bowzans are okay. Oh, oh, wow. It's interesting as well that the random stuttering, right, doesn't occur in the replays, only in the matches. Which I just find super strange. In fact, now it's stopped entirely. That's so weird. That's a new new, new bug for FM24. Everyone's like, they've got a guy called Mango at the back. Oh, that is still a bit stuttery, isn't it? Also, they are playing the... North Korean dude in their midfield. Oh, no, it's not stuttering. That was maybe just on... The, that was actually the game being a bit weird that time. But they are playing the North Korean guy. Oh, that's actually around the side. Kamara with a brilliant interception. I'm a bit worried about losing someone like Malish, though, because obviously the centre-back partner that um, Kamara has right now is Boile, but he's on loan. And I don't know if we'd ever be able to sign any of those guys permanently. The person in the background, maybe? But it's so strange that it only does it during the matches and not during the highlights. As in... If you get a highlight of a goal, for example, it stops stuttering. Very strange. Yeah, we'll get more of them, I guess. Good work. Kamara, though, is fantastic. Like, he's genuinely excellent. Hamadi, Maza! 
It's onside. It is onside. Sirens lead. Lucas Marza's 14th of the season. I don't feel like he's actually scored that many during today's stream, but nice to get him on the score sheet there. Lovely football. All came from Kamara winning that ball back. He has been fantastic for us. But this little pick out from, I think it was Hamadi, just pops it around the side. Lovely goal. Hey, Matt. Chiru, thank you very much for the raid, friend. How a stream. Good for Marza. What we kind of need is some of our uh, rivals to be playing against each other for a little bit. But that doesn't seem to be happening. Yeah, Floriana seem to be slowly pulling themselves away from the drop zone. And the two expected teams down there are exactly who we thought. Right, come on, John. Breakaway chance. Let's get that second goal. Oh, look at the space. Please, pass. John, pass the ball. It's fine. He knows what he's doing. We're going to score off this play. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. They're still cooking, chat. They're cooking it up. This is just the entree. Worry not. The main course is coming in a minute. They're still cooking. Kone. The cooking. Ding, 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 chat. Our cookies are done. It's 2-0. It was all for the all part of the plan. Jean knew what was going to happen. He knew that at the end of that, we would eventually score the goal. It was just a long way to get there. And Kone scores on his debut as well. Just shifts the ball. Dreadful goalkeeping from Golovic. The canapes are here. The fish and chips in a cone has arrived. Really strong start. Got to trust the process. Exactly. This is really strong. We are finding some serious form now. I, I'm saying it now. I think we win the title this year. I think now that I've seen us play more and more like this, I'm starting to believe that we can win the title this year. I think, honestly, as much as Valletta are up there, I think only Hamron are actually going to be able to stop us from winning it. Which is and just the little improvements to the squad that we've been able to make. Kone is now going to be an absolute lifeline down this left, isn't he? He's going to terrorize people. It's Dick. Pops it across. Hamadi, good block. Oh. Yes, although he now can say hello, goodbye, and can you call me a cab in Maltese, and that's how he scored. <sighs> Good pass through for Jean again. Although, if he does keep finishing like that, th that's what might stop us from winning the league, potentially. <laughs> You're a cab. It's <laughs> one way of doing it. Yeah, now that I've actually started getting big-headed about it, thinking we're going to win the league or something... Um, Oh, Mars is in again. Left foot, bang. Lucas Mars, a 15th goal this season. Gorgeous play. 3 0 up. Goal for the playthrough. The goal for the playthrough is to become the best league in Europe. So, to make the Maltese Premier Division the greatest league in Europe, i.e., the top of the European coefficient standings. And, well, it's going to be a long journey, but we're well on the way. Lovely little, not just a nice little foul there from Jean to casually throw the defender off of the ball to allow the goal. But, you know, we take that. Yeah, Marza is an absolute cheat code at this level. I can't believe we just took a random punt on him and he turned out that good. Uh, we are 45th in the coefficients. Now we just need to give up our customary goal to make sure that we don't get the clean sheet bonuses. Watch the bet get scored by... Ch oh my god, what a hit. That was dope. Ah, that was good. Like, this is pretty much game over. Then again, we were 5 up in the last game and conceded 3, so you never know. How can you improve other clubs? Well, for one... You improving the league itself does... Like, just getting better does help them too because they'll get more money. But also loans. Lots of loans, hopefully. We can't do that yet, obviously, because we're still early stages. And we may not need to as much this year because the improved squad planning, and that is a really good save. But yet again, Jean has missed his chance. He's had like two or three really good openings in this first half. I'll be disappointed if he doesn't get a goal in this game. Michi Bucci is just a guy that can't say Mitsubishi is a good name. Don't mind a bit of that. Getting on the break here a little bit. A big yellow arrow out. Is there really a big yellow arrow? What, in that corner? <laughs> that arrow's like, hey, look, the main uh, administrative building, my friends. At least not turns into Photoshop. Um, I don't know, actually. Is GIMP still good? Or is there another version that people use now? Can people use Canva as well, actually, I think. But I, I don't know. I'm better with, like, uh, the video editing ones. I'll always recommend DaVinci Resolve for people for that. Guam fits a good ball through, and it's a great save again. Hospital entrance. Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can keep your distance, chat. 
it's called like no it literally it's called gimp it was like an open source version of photoshop it might not be a thing anymore i don't know i've used photoshop for such a long time now i've forgotten but it maybe hasn't had the updates or something potentially that's a really strong first half why are they so complacent like bully you've not scored yet do something and then be complacent Sabar tuna up they're sticking on the coattails it is looking like a five-way battle now and ah oh wait Sabasi 4-0 that's his first goal for the club as well you'd love to see it yeah we're on we're on a bit of a roll now have we actually lost oh no we have lost the league game haven't we because we lost that if we hadn't have lost that game to Marsa we'd be unbeaten in the league right now also this would oh it wouldn't actually push us that far clear would it because of the games in hand Marsa are sort of sliding back towards the bottom of the league these days right I've had enough of Jean today we're going to give Grineo a chance to show him how it's done and also Sally Sen. Get Dick off. And yeah, I'll do for the moment. No need to overdo it. Why is the two o'clock kickoff today in the Premier League? I've actually forgotten. I didn't watch any of the football live yesterday, obviously, as I was out. Ah. Oh. Larry. I think Samasi's done well. Oh, Spurs Villa. That'll be actually quite, like, that sounds like it's actually going to be a really good game, to be honest. <laughs> the miserable fans basically. That's good Neo now slots. Is it just the problem with our left-sided striker? They are just allergic to scoring goals. Because everything that's just put on a plate for them, they just miss it constantly. That was a nice finish from Trent, though. I, I still watched the highlights, but, uh, yeah, this is just... Very good from us now. Now, it's still going to be tough on for a squad building for next season because I realise a lot of these loans are probably not going to come back. And obviously we can get some more, but we do need to start building an actual permanent squad to be able to take things. But this is certainly good for us. It'll get us this season is going to essentially allow us to get the money together to try and build that permanent squad. And this is going to be the regularly scheduled clean sheet bonus gone, right? Oh, the space. Here he is. And there it is. <laughs> Literally, as I predicted it. Ryun Chol, the North Korean, scores his first goal in Maltese football. And it's against us. <sighs> he was in acres of space. He was like Winnie the Pooh in the 100 acre wood there. That's... Yeah. <sighs> it was always likely to happen, wasn't it? We'll probably concede another one now just to make that scoreline a little bit less flattering. We're very good at running away into good leads and then the moment we make any subs, we just sort of lose it. <laughs> that would be reported as a 17-0 win with him scoring every goal, of course. I don't suppose they're probably very happy with him given that he's actually escaped them. Oh, don't... He's running forward again here. Michibushi. Oh my god, they've got another one. How does this always happen? <laughs> We're so good at getting into four or five goal leads and then winning 5-3 and 4-2. <laughs> We really do have a weak bench, don't we? <laughs> Every time we make any substitutes to just try and rest some players out, the other team just immediately goes and scores two or three goals. Yeah, I'll tell you what, right? I feel like players have got complacency issues way more this year than last time. It feels like players are just complacent for no reason. Like, you get players starting matches complacent when you're just in the middle of a title battle. It's like, what have you got to be complacent about? Right, Jean doesn't score, which is disappointing. Bro needs to be doing better than that. Snaps, yeah. It's not made of very strong wood. Uh, as the bottom two now remains the bottom two. But I presume these guys are all playing on the Sunday and they'll almost certainly all win unless they're playing each other. I think we've got any chance of winning the league this year. And Hamron beat Bikikara, so that actually helps us out a little bit as far as getting top four does. Pushes us six points clear of that. God, he's got 15 goals. What are we on to now? 47. It's a good amount. Kone scores, that was nice. Want deal start? I, I would love to, but as if we can afford... Actually... Oh, tell you what. Imagine we sign Lucas Marza permanently. January's going to be very interesting, is all I can say. We are still in the cup. Amazingly, we are still in the cup. And we have to play Zabai in the cup. Can I add them to the shortlist? I can. I just want to make sure we get notified about that. 6-3 there. We just score a lot of goals. And concede a lot of goals. Three players complacent at 0-0. Yeah, it's very strange. It does seem like complacency is maybe a slight issue this year. 
Wow, our run since that weird little... Good God, we've been good this season. <laughs> yeah, we beat Hibs. And... Oh, yeah, it was. That was the last game, wasn't it? We've also got that game against Zabar, which is important. A lot of them have probably got those contra those one-year extensions, probably. But there's nothing we can do about that. We can't afford to pay 400 grand for him at the moment. I suspect Valletta will win away at Marsash Lock. Is the other game on Monday or something? This is the Goodyear match. Um, Let me check. Uh, yeah, we beat Zabar 4-1, and then we beat Balzans 4-2. When was the last time we didn't score? We scored two or more goals in every single match this season. <laughs> That's so very us. Oh, true, yes, you're right. I forgot about the late game. Was... Well, that's convenient. Master Schlock have just hump humped Valletta. 3 0. Floriana lose again. This time against Gajira, who were literally not that much better than them. They really are dreadful. But that's great because it's now really between us and Hamroom. I still don't know if we're ever going to be. I think Hamroom will eventually just be that little bit better than us, but I think it's going to be a tight battle. We're certainly keeping pace with them. If, not, if anything, at the moment, they're keeping pace with us. But I don't know how long we can continue doing it. Because we'll start to get some injuries. And you've already seen what our uh, depth looks like at the moment. Which ain't great. But second would be fine. Anyone released? No. Okay. You're at Hamroon. So we can't do much about that. Uh, you are also at Hamroon. Okay. Okay, there's some players in here. Anyone down at the bottom that's not worth looking at? Pretty much all of those guys, honestly. Right. Dolphin Noir. It's a 26 game season. Another right back. I like, to, uh, like that they're actually bringing us right backs. And he can cover both sides. Mm, it's just not really what we need right now, is it? Yamal Matis, okay. Some good players there. The problem is they'd all cost money and we don't have any. Particularly now that I've spent that fucking language course. So oh, look, it's Mr. Mohammed and Dai, the man who turned down a thousand pounds a week to join us to go and play back in Senegal for 190 pounds a week. Senior Yaro, thank you for the follow. There's also the Apollo Otiet. I mean, he, the name alone makes me want to sign him. Do not hate He's just not amazing, is he? But Apollo, Apollo Otieno, he's a solid name. Which kit? What for? Apollo? Oh, that is... That's got Newcastle away kit vibes. No, no. Newcastle third choice kit. Or Brighton or someone like that. That's what it feels like to me. <laughs> Florumpus. Thank you very much for the follow. God, this song is so NHL 2004. Yeah, we we'll just kind of leave those guys as they are for the moment. Because we have no money to action any of them. Uh, it's, it's a custom database, um, Floro, that we constructed. Um, which I believe if you do exclamation mark Malta, you'll get a link for it. Uh, how are we doing at the moment? Playing time improves it. You're a cup goalkeeper. So sell player. That's fine. We can do that once that comes. That's fine. That's fine. Good. We're doing okay on that one. Uh, one's first oh, yeah. I forgot about Milan. I feel... Bad for him too. He might end up Dion for enough vibes. Yes, Ilya Kovalchuk vibes. Does Shira actually want him? If they pay us two hundred and fifty grand for him, I would take it. Dick could leave Science due to release cause. I mean, sure, but if someone pays me that amount of money, then they ha I'm not going to give him another contract because we've already got three years left on it. If someone gives us that amount of money for Dick, then he's theirs. We can replace him easily. Well, not easily, but we'll get a Dick replacement. But at the very least, we'll have the money available to make it work. I don't know if they actually do have it lying around. No, they emphatically do not have it lying around. Like, where are they getting that money? That's all their bank balance. They only have a 72... Yeah, I don't know. They're not actually going to bid on that, are they? But, I don't know. Maybe they're just going to go into debt. Who are they signing? Rafael Vitor. I mean, he actually looks quite tasty. I love that they're signing more Brazilians. That's the problem. That they're also the other clubs are also going to be signing players, so it's not going to be as simple as just we strengthen because they're going to be continually strengthening at the same rate, if not faster. It seems some of them anyway. Right. Oh, big battle at the top. Valletta and Hamroon. This could be big. If Valletta win that, that's a great opportunity for us to actually start to get a league, a league, a lead. Which they don't. Yeah, this is very much looking like a two-horse race now. The fact that Valletta have absolutely shat the bed. We're five clear of them with a game in hand. If we win, there then becomes a seven-point gap between second and third. Loads of that having to play wage for uh, 
for a broke club. Uh, yes. Um, it's not... I mean, the best way, obviously, is a senior affiliate because they will give you loans for free. Speaking of which, we should probably ask for one of those again, actually. Just in case. Cool. We won't get one, but you never know. Um, the other way is, like... <sighs> Asking your dev, uh, your doff for just loans here. Now, not all of them will be free, but sometimes they will be. And it's just worth looking at different positions in your team like that. Yeah, it's really, we can't get one either. Um, we tried to get one before and they just said they couldn't find anybody. It's like, not anyone at all? Most expensive signing in Malta, it's going to be... There's a few actually. Yeah, so Jefferson Mendez from Bicacara to Floriana for 200k. God, Floriana spent all that money. They actually have spent multiple amounts of money. Like they've spent 300,000 players on transfers. Sorry, 300,000 pounds on transfers. And now look at them. 11k on an Ethiopian. Oh, they did. A man all Turfu. Not even an international yet. They know something we don't. He hasn't played a single game. Oh my God, he hasn't. You're right, yeah. Bro hasn't... They paid 200 grand for him and he's not played for them yet. In fact, he hadn't even played for Beer Kikara. <laughs> Since joining a Maltese club, he's played two appearances and somehow has moved. How did they pull that off? This is why Floriano are going down. Or at least getting to be very damn close to going down. Because if you behave like that, you, what hope do they have? Uh... Well. Interesting. He's actually favoured the goalkeeper there. Uh, sorry, he's favoured John. Oh, of course he has to because Grunio's injured, isn't he? We'll put Traore back in for this one. Uh, Corone keeps his spot because he's actually kind of decent. That does feel a bit money laundering, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, we want... I mean, this should be a straightforward win as well. Based on everything we know so far. But we are due an absolute clangor. Oh, are they in the tar race? I believe they are. They're... Well, actually they're not. I mean, Tarshin look pretty much nailed on to be going up this season. They're already eight points clear. Although, game in hands, admittedly. Nasha are in there with Peter Hotspurs. Then after that, ooh, Zuri are also in there. I'd like to see them get promoted. Senior affiliate. So what it does, it allows you to have a, a much bigger club become like your daddy club, essentially. And one of the biggest benefits for you is that you can then loan players off of them for free. And usually the players that you get are of a higher caliber than players that would normally want to sign for you on loan. So for example, at the start of our last save with MTK Budapest, we had Liverpool as an affiliate. And that was actually baked into the game. That wasn't even something we did. And we had so many Liverpool loanees in that first season. It was unreal. And it was a really nice boost to have those extra players. That's the biggest benefit of a senior affiliate. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that actually really matters from a senior affiliate standpoint anyway. Just a Spurs money laundering scheme. Until, of course, I upset Jurgen Klopp by playing a player as a wing back instead of a wing back. And then, yeah. Oh, the scouting knowledge. Yes, we also got the benefit of having Liverpool scouting knowledge as well. And obviously with a club like Liverpool, that's a huge amount of knowledge. Has Terry Venables died? Christ, can I play a screamer remote? Uh, no, why would I do that? That's got nothing to do with my save. <laughs> yeah, you do get a little bit of money. And to be fair, that sort of money could actually help us. Though, that said, the sort of club that we're going to get potentially as a senior affiliate club isn't... Then they're, they're like We're looking at like Serie Chi teams. So we probably wouldn't get paid much for it anyway. Yeah, and then Liverpool sacked all their staff and then we lost all the scouting knowledge. Just good, you're a winning. And we're getting absolutely no highlights in this game. Is this where we bottle our opportunity to go top? Wow, zero highlight first half. It's like the game knows that it's... But again, apprehensive and complacent. Why are you up complacent? We're in a title battle. And the game is at nil-nil. I think that is actually a little bit of an issue potentially. Players shouldn't be that complacent when there's no reason for complacency. Like, none at all. Oh, FM. Stop being silly. Yeah, it says 79. It just randomly jumps up. So bizarre. And I have no explanation for it. But yeah, I forgot about the sky knowledge. That really did help us in the early stages of that save as Molinar misses the target. 25k a year. I mean, yeah, it's, it's almost a single Duolingo subscription. So if we do get one, it will just cover me off for like one mistake per year. It is ever playing silly buggers, yeah. Oh, come on. This, is, this should be a like straightforward winnable match for us. And if we drop points here...
He would also, at the moment, be the first game this season where we haven't scored at least two goals. I have a confession to make, chat. Ooh. I saved scummed in FM 2020 in the third Swedish league on the final day of the season because I had a completely highlightless match and felt cheated out of promotion. You are forgiven, my child. So, and so on. <laughs> Forgive you. I feel like, I've, I don't know, something about this jumper is making me feel like an FM vicar today. Dick! How on earth has that been saved? What a fucking stop! Did he tap that onto the crossbar? Dick should have just banged us in front there. It was a great hit. Oh, hang on. John, great touch. Right, slip him in. Come on. Round the side, he's going to go alone. John's on his wrong foot. He's gone for it anyway, and it's over the bar. The FM pasta. Yeah, no, I saw in chat a little while ago. Uh, someone said about 10 euro rewards. That sucks. Ah, we need... Mars is having a, a rare, absolutely shit game. Problem is, we haven't got any real... There's no one on the bench that I'm like, we'll bring them in and they'll make a difference at this stage. That's my one sub. I'm going for it. Have a lock in this safe. Uh, well, Malta, because that's the country we're playing in. Um, and they're not part of the base game, essentially. No, I, I trust the process. I reckon we can get the winner here. I reckon Kone is going to pull off a magical moment here on the corner. Or Dick will do something cool for us. Ball in. Hamadi over the bar. <sighs> this is annoying because this would not... Obviously, the gap in the top, like the top two gap, would then start to really emerge. But this is—I worry that if we lose the lead to Hamroon, it's going to be very, very difficult to get it back from them because they won the league by a considerable margin last season, and they've got better since then. They had a bit of a slow start, but now they're really flying. And the only way I feel like we were going to win this title is if we could get in front and stay there. Oh no, it's a great little touch inside. That's such a nice goal. Whoa, that was nearly a very nice goal. Grenier for Marza. Grenier is injured. This is second season, yeah. I'm fairly certain Grenier's not on the bench. Yeah, he's not. That's why the game picked John to start for us. And we face Hammer in next game. Oh, that's a big one. That's a dreadful pass from Dick. Right, here we go. Esselink. Come on. Late goal here. Marza, you've done nothing in this game. I'll slip him through. Maybe pass it. Oh, if he plays that inside, like, if he just slots that inside to, to Jean, there's a, not a tap in, but like a really solid chance. Wow, a nil-nil in the Maltese League. That's very unlike us. A cheeky little nil-nil in the Maltese League is surprising. Ah, that is very rare. Obviously the lowest scoring game of the season. It's the first game this year that we've not scored at least two goals in. Ah. What does that do elsewhere? Yeah. I mean, their keeper had a good game. That particularly good save as well. So Floriano with a draw. Zabar win again. And now the gap's only five points. I forgot about them. Yeah, true. We kind of kept things tight. Have we kept any clean sheets? We have kept a couple of clean sheets. Admittedly, that was against the third tier side. <laughs> and that was against them again in a friendly. So it's only our second clean sheet of the season as well. So I guess we'll take that. But unusual. And it wasn't like we were playing super... Like, we still played quite well. Over. Yeah, I just have a habit of jinxing it, really, don't I? Oh, they, oh, they were Gosseton second tier. You're right, yeah. And now next up is against Hammerin. We're not on TV, are we? Oh, we are. Okay, good. That's going to help. Hey, 9k in the bank. It's fine. It's another 6-3. What is the, like... Liam Zaman's got 11 goals in that division. We've scored 43 times. We're conceding 29. I love this tactic so much. Like, to be fair, last season, our record against Hammerin was really good. We beat them home and away. Uh, any games here that... I'm a bit worried for Marsa. They spent a good amount when they got promoted and now they seem to have really struggled. Yeah, if we can beat Zabar in the cup, we'll be fine because that'll get us a nice payday. Another win for them. They're getting dragged right back into this relegation battle now. And Big Ikara are starting to catch us. Oh shit, that was a game in hand for them. So it's actually only a four-point gap. Playing Hamroon. It's going to be about... It could be 30k because they're the best they're the highest reputation side in Malta yeah 30k because obviously they gained more rep last season so they're actually uh, that's going to be helpful that's the one we get the most for oh good uh, I'm going to take a risk and treat him at club so we can get him back for the match oh yeah no I mean I, I feel like it probably is uh, out of football just because the immediate interaction the music as well which helps I think although this is copyright free what are we doing I want vibes what we got yeah, that'll do. Right. Banfield. Hello. 
And he's free, which means contract is expiring, presumably, no? Meek and Sparrow. Sorry, sorry, Sapporo. Also, he's Turkman. Yes, okay, cool. These guys are possibly still quite decent, but actually, he's free. A couple of Turkmen dudes. So Samuel Rios. Yeah, his contract expires in like a few days. Oh. Uh, apparently not, no. We were we were cuelous. Danny, thank you, thank for, you for the content. 34. That's, that's very kind of you, sir. I appreciate that. Is he a centre-back? Oh, he is. Oh, how could you be 6'2 and have six, an 8 jumping reach? But he's on £65 a week. And he would definitely bolster us. Now, the question is what he'd want in terms of contracts. Fiona! Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, do not pull up. Thank you very much for the follow. So just to clarify, a guy from the Turkmenistan League has just said that we need to raise our standing. Like, bro... As if Arkadag were absolutely killing it. Wait, they have one and a half star reputation? They actually have higher rep than we do. <laughs> to be fair, I'm so sorry. It's my football knowledge. There's a gap in it. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that's just the thing, right? True. I might shortlist him at least. So that we might be able to get him on trial when he's out of contract. Ah. Average is at least one a game. Yeah. I think they probably need to tone it down a little bit. Oh, uh, we play on key. We always play on key just because otherwise you just get bogged down a little bit, right? Uh, that's gone through nicely. Right, cool. Uh, we've got Babacart and Dong. So many CMs. That's the thing. It's another guy from Generational Foot. Presumably this chap here is also Oh, he doesn't even have an agent. He's not been here as good as the others either. We'll find I like Samuel Rios. He is very intriguing. It's a shame he doesn't have an agent. Because then we can actually get an idea. Is he super cheap? Breakthrough prospect. No fucking way. If we sign him. No, 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 no. Surely fucking not. Yeah, bro, I'm not giving you a six-month contract. <laughs> Why would I do that? All right, three-year contract. Get Oxlade Chamberlain. What do you mean get Oxlade Chamberlain? What are you talking about? Right, cool. Three years is fine. Oh, I could have got international cap. Shit, you're right. I just kind of want him, honestly, because he would be a very good signing for us. Um, Not really what we need right now, right? Uh, I, uh, wait. Nah. I can tell you. Well, if we learned anything from the last video, Everton are willing to sell him even if they have no other players. Release calls could be dodgy, though. Um, well, I mean, we have negative £2,000 in the bank. So a release cause of £650,000 would be quite good. If we could sell a player for six hundred grand, <laughs> that would be moon money for us. That would be like league prize money level. Uh, as in, like... Top four in the league prize money level of, uh, yeah. This is, like, brilliant for us. And that's why I'm not bothered about putting the release clauses in, because that, that, that actually benefits to us, because it means that we can basically say to players, either you go for your release clause, or you don't go at all. So in this stage, it could actually be beneficial for us to have the release clauses. The rest of those guys, I'll just uh, go for now, but yeah. Well, like, we've got off several players in this club where they all have release clauses, but I know, say someone buys dick off of us for, uh, like, 750 grand, right? I'd happily do that because wait, 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 wait. Darbo's coming. Oh, was it only a short loan? No, no language course. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, no, finances are shocking, yeah. I'm not going to extend this because I want them to buy him. And my hope is that they'll buy him after the extension is done. What kind of money have they got knocking about out of him? Oh, God. They had... Fuck it, in that case, we're going to extend it. They're never going to buy him. Ian, now you're fair to attract loanage. Oh, God, we've got Darbo back. Worst news ever. Particularly as that's also now going to be costing us more money in wage budget, which I just realized we don't have, which I can just move a little bit across. There we go. I don't really want to, but we got to. Now Mars is injured too. Oh. Darbo, he, he literally is our player. I don't... <laughs> Are we going to just like... Ah, uh, dear. Do you know I should sign him? I should sign him last season when I did. <laughs> Other dot. Okay. I think we're just going to ignore that from now on. Um, <laughs> possibly go on loan again. I know he hasn't played for us this season, technically. So we might be able to loan him again. Or just outright sell him, honestly. Once the January transfer window is open, we might just be able to fully sell him. <laughs> is he formed... I'm glad that he's been doing his Maltese fucking language course while he's been out on loan in, in Mali. 30 grand that cost us. <laughs> oh, he really is just here to annoy me, isn't he? <laughs> like, he really is. Uh, We're getting Samuel Rios. Am I missing something? Is he going to be shit? Because I just can't fathom how he can be shit. He's got green consistency as well. He doesn't have the best physicals, admittedly. But for the price, we've just absolutely mugged them off there. I reckon we... Oh, I'm so sorry, Gideon. Hey, Witter! Can you it? Never heard of him. Kil Kilian. Kil Kilian? Kylian. Mbappe. Paris Blues. Yes, I've heard of them. They're that, they're that golf team, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Witter. How's it going, man? Yes, Kylian Minogue. That's the one. Um, She'll spin you right round, baby, right round. <laughs> I love that I can get asked. I can ask Larry to solve this for me. Imagine if Larry fixes this. Oh, that would have been dope. Right. A loan for, for Gideon would be wonderful news. We can't do it yet, but... I've asked one head to talk to the other. The Chimera is not happy. <laughs> this is the first time they've ever actually looked at each other. Air lung... <laughs> I would like a sister Danny indeed, yeah. Right, that's the Slurpy Pepsi done. Well, there he is. Big old Pulisic. Doing pulisic and things. And we move. Yeah, that was quite a high value, actually, wasn't it? Right, so real shows us then. I'm quite looking forward to getting some Yeah, fuck it, we'll, we'll keep going today. I'm not that super I'm not super bothered about the F1, honestly. I want to do some like uh because I want to be able to finish off the season on Tuesday. And there's a lot of games still to go. So I want to make sure we can do that. This is right. Oh, there's loads. Can do see tons. Signing put. I, I think that I have definitely considered it. Yes. Right. Valletta lose a game. What has happened to Valletta? <laughs> Santa Lucia win a game as Zabar lose. Master Slock win another one. Okay, this is fine by me. This keeps everyone else nice and clumped up behind us. The question is who's going to play this game? I reckon I'm safe to start Grineo for this one. Because Jean's been a bit hit and miss. And Grineo's... Actually, wait, no. He's not very fit, is he? And... I'll bring Traore back in for this one. I want to try and keep them happy for as long as I can, really. <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. Sorry, I meant choose that. My apologies. Yeah, I mean... Hey, at least someone other than Red Bull won one race this season. Excitement! Uh, uh, right, yeah, and then I think after this it's the cup game, isn't it? Oh shit, we've got they've got Everton up top again. Uh, oh, that's the Ethiopian dude. He has indeed, yes. Um, that is only the twenty seventh time it's been mentioned in chat today. But I realise obviously you wouldn't have known that. But yeah, that's why I've not like been acknowledging it every time someone else brings it up that's new because it's just you know. Uh, but yeah, that does suck though. 
I think Valletta have won like five. Um, sorry, I think Valletta have lost five games in a row. And we've not even played them in that period yet. So they are in a deep downfall. They lost a game that they probably shouldn't have done. And since then, their morale has just been in the floor. At least our players are not complacent for once. A nice bonus. Oh, is he at Hammerin as well? Uh, I don't know. He's not even on the bench if he is there. But then they've probably got such a deep squad that it doesn't even matter. Right, this is the big one. If we lose this, suddenly the title starts to look a little bit... Not out of reach, but the gap would suddenly grow to four points. They're much better than us. And we've immediately committed a penalty inside the first minute of the game. Is he on the bench? Good. Start as you mean to go on, eh, chaps? Uh, inside a minute, Everton gets a chance to put Hammerun in front, and he does. I mean, is this where the title gets thrown away? I mean, we've come back from worse. But against a team like Hammerun, we're going to need an absolute miracle. Like, in the... In the biggest game of the season so far, the last thing we wanted was a fucking penalty concession inside the first minute of the match. Because suddenly, yeah, then we're looking behind us a little bit more than in front. But they'll drop points at some point, presumably. It's just a question of, can we keep pace with them? Because they are just not really dropping points lately. No matter who they play against. Still got a better goal difference. Okay. We just need... Oh, Marts is not doing a good job here. Like, this is Every highlight is basically starting in our half. We've not really seen a chance yet. Everton's into the box again. Three players have been drawn to him. That's a brilliant piece of goalkeeping there from Traore. If he doesn't touch that exactly where he does, that's a tap-in. Because for some reason, three of our defenders went to one man. Hamrun are just a lot better than us, aren't they? They've just got a higher quality of players. Zarate! What a save again. Traore is doing it. It's a 26-game season. Yeah, at least they're going to pay us the TV money for this. Which might allow us to fund a bit of January reinforcements, potentially. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're just going to fix the game as well. Pantsil. Oh, God. They're actually being quite patient with this. What a little... Oh. <laughs> okay. We take that, I guess. That, exactly. We've paid for a language course by this game. Therefore, it's all good. Yeah, Mars is really struggling to get any... I just, we haven't seen us have an attack yet in this game. It's been all defending. And if it wasn't for Traore, we'd be at least two goals down. Now, he wasn't going to be able to save the penalty, but he's made two other really good saves. Match that's even though... I mean, they're not, though, are they, really? <laughs> like, the, the penalty is their only real big opportunity. But that cross one could have... Oh, my God. Zarate now sips it through for Everton. He's throwing goal and it's two. We're making our own problems today. Everton's 12th of the year. Hey, Flo Feast. Ah, uh, there's that petard again. Boalo's just, and then the problem is he don't, he doesn't track the run properly. He just sort of stands there. There's no way that Kamara could be expected to cover that ground properly. That had to be Boalo just bombing back into the channel. But he's too busy. Look, watch him here. He's like sidestepping for some reason. He should be bombing into that space to try and cover that off. But like he's definitely on side, just barely. Tilting? Oh no, we're not tilting. In the sense of, like, those are just perfectly normal goals to concede. It was just bad play from us. The girthy tunnel? He's a quite a thick one, isn't it? Oh, titling. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, we, we were titling, but unfortunately, a 0-0 a draw in the last game out of nowhere, followed by us being 3-0 down against our main title rival, is somewhat putting uh, our title chances on hold a little bit here, because we are... Hamrun are very good. I mean, that's just a lot. Look at this pass. Look at that. Wonderful control and paint still just bang. They're just way better than us. Yeah, literally, this is the F1 Hamrun or Max Verstappen. But yeah, but top, top four is great. The only reason I started to believe in the Tartar race is when we went like all those games unbeaten were really starting to clap people. I thought, well, you know what? Maybe there's a chance. I think second is now a reasonable uh, expectation oh, for us this year. My car. Teal Man, thank you very much for the follow. Because we go four points from that. But then Bikikara could be right back in the battle. Bit of conference league next year. Maybe that'll be fine. We've still got plenty of time. Like, this ain't over yet. But, like, we've not really done anything of note today. Mart says, yeah. We're going to go with Grenier for a bit, even though he's on the wrong foot. Nobody's really impressed. Boalo has been appalling. But we got... Ma I might actually bring Malish on. Dick's not done very well. Cissé can come in. Just bring on anyone that could maybe have an impact here. 
Quite stumpy. No, really. Yeah, I think he's he's six foot in ours. Because obviously it's one of the things that's randomized. I, I don't think we've even got a... This is our first attack of the game that we've actually seen. Flicked up. Kone! Oh my god. That was a really weak header. But that was the first attack we've seen from us the entire game. And it was a good opportunity as well. But Kone was... He just couldn't generate any power on it. Is this going to be back-to-back -back matches without us scoring? Oh, Harris Larian. Hey, they're just not very good, are they? They have no speed. Which is why we're not playing them, really. Other than desperation. Go on, Sean. Oh, takes it short. Grenillo over the bar. I'd rather him just shot there, honestly. Third season. Ooh. Oh, from Violet. Yeah, the problem is, though, we won't get that because we're obviously Malta. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be back-to-back -back matches without scoring now. Samassi also had the was the best player on the pitch for us. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Okay. A couple of poor performances from us. We were bound to have a little slump at some point. And it shows. Right. The question is, it, we really need Birka Kara to not win their game in hand, but it's against Floriana, I think. Or it might be against Marsa, actually. Oh, St. Andrew's nice. I think they were doing okay in the second division. Well, mid-table. It's all right, isn't it? Although the gap at the... Wow. That gap's getting a bit tighter now between those top three. Wait, I mean, big changes. I mean, what big changes would you make? Like, I, I never understood people that tear up everything when they start to lose a few games. Bear in mind, we've lost one game. That's our first defeat since uh, September. I don't change anything. If you were able to win games before, why would you then change it all? Nothing has changed in between. Hey, Jack! Umbu Impenza. There's another Impenza. There is. He's another scout as well. We haven't got any room for any more scouts. I think he's actually a better scout. Also, his knowledge would be almost identical to his brother's. But he did win the Croaky Cup. He's actually not bad. Well, if you lose five or six in a row... Yeah, but it's a question. If you lost five or six in a row at the start of a season and it's a brand new save, then obviously yes. But that's not a slump. That's just being shit, I suppose, if that makes sense. Like, Nakrev, thank you very much for the, one, for the brand new tier one. That's super kind of you, man. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome to Bang.com. Who is Zauri who's pleased with the win over you? Uh, oh, that's their manager. Uh, Luciano Zauri. He's the uh, hammering manager. But, like, slumps happen all the time. Like, if you were winning games before the slump, then you can win them after the slump, basically. It, and if you start changing all your tactics and building things, then you're actually going to cause the slump to be worse a lot of the time. If you knew that you could win before, then you can win again. Even Afro, how I mean, no, that's probably the exception to the rule, honestly. He's just satisfied. Yeah, he doesn't care about us. Hey, look, they couldn't find a senior affiliate. We knew it. He does, yes, have a new training schedule. I'm going to sort that out at some point. But I'm quite happy with the ones I've got now. Um, we slump, we <laughs> in it. Right, so that's when the transfer window opens. And then we can finally get, we'll try and get Darbo out again. BD Roller, thank you very much for the two months. And this is what I want to see. This screen right here. That's very kind of you, sir. These ones, right. Okay. Which one of these do we fancy? Oh, Christ. He, mm. Jibby Diop is fucking unbelievable. No work rate, and he's got horrible big matches, but if we could get him for free and he wouldn't want too much money, he could be a worthwhile pickup. He does want important player, but we'll see what the wages come with that, potentially, because he could want anything. £400 a week. £400 a week. I think we'll take someone like you because this will allow us to not use as many loans. Do we need a CM though? Well, we need permanent CMs. We've got loanees at the moment and we need to be finding players for free that we can get cheap and he would be one of them. Also, two million power release scores. Yes, please. I want to see if I can maybe grab a one-year extension or something. Oh, Christ. Why do they keep moving the relegation release clause? It's like, that helps you, right? It's weird that they keep removing it. All right, we'll take that. I think that's good. The others... What are we like on that right? Because we only really have... 
Isakata would be quite good. He's pacey. He can cross. He can dribble. I think this is just on the playlist, Lewis. We've done as a striker. Um, no reason to. He's a fantastic winger, and we really have strikers. And he can't. He's got not got any very much composure. I'd rather just play him in his role as a winger here on that right foot. And he could also play the right side. He could play on both sides. I'm excellent, Papa Frog Dog. How's it going, man? The question is whether he'd want loads of money. But we do need to start having some permanent signings because there's too many loans that we've got. Oh, God. It says here, estimated wage, 160 to 210 pounds. If he wants that kind of wage or even like anything close to it, for 300 pounds a week, like we'll use the money that we're not spending on wages to get a better coach for him. These guys are absolutely stellar. No release clause either. I'll give him one for relegation. Bro, look. Why do they keep removing... It's weird that they keep removing the relegation release clause when that would actually be beneficial to them. Hang on. I'm sure I only just... Did, did he just remove a red-locked clause? And now I can't let it back in. I redlocked it and the game just removed it. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? I love it when the game can just cheat. It might still be there and we just can't see it or something. But. Ah, so I can only put. Right, I'll tell you why. It's because he's insisting on a one year contract and you can only put a relegation release clause on a two year contract or more, but it still shouldn't be able to remove it. That's probably why they keep going away. It's not so much that they're removing it, but when they put it down to one year, it removes the relegation release clause, but. Because in a way, that would make sense. But that's still very annoying. Got to redlock the contract. Yeah, but if you redlock this, he could ask for all kinds of silly bollocks. Okay, it actually did work that time. But yeah, that's the reason for it. Um, These guys, I don't want him. As good as he might be, I don't think he's really... Fuck. They're all... I don't want too many CMs. But we wanted to get Jimmy D up. And I think Cater is really versatile. Because he can play on both sides of our midfield. And also, we're losing... Gideon's going to go. Bismarck, I'm fine with letting him go. God, Gideon's on £400 a week. Darbo... Is that on loan? Oh, yeah, we have to wait until he's no longer out on loan. We could offer Gideon out for free. True. We've got to wait for the actual uh, window to open first, though. Because no one's going to bid on him yet. As Birkikara do not win. That is good news. And Florian will take another point. There's going to be so much squad churning during the first few seasons of this save anyway. Because a lot of the sh contracts are short. And as we start to progress, we progress quite quickly. Right. I want Saturday. And I want Wednesday, Saturday. Which is that one. Cool. Here's a fun fact. Voltaire can Timmy, oh, believe me, if I had that wonderful man bund individual, I would be never let him go. Lewis J. Hagen, thank you for the follow. Uh, do the look up. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, precisely. With MTK, we managed to. Because once we had those first like, little taste of Europe, we were able to. Oh, hang on get a bit more but with the contracts being shorter in um Malta initially at least it becomes difficult there's a lot more squad squad churn you know uh no Paul Digby's sadly which is odd 8.5k week is a, is a bit much I haven't seen it as in I've seen that it exists but I haven't watched it is what I should have said uh we'll bring him in on trial not because we want to sign him but in the hope that he signs for someone else but yeah is it actually good yeah, that's what I would have thought. If Booty was in there, then show would Digby, but what division is that? Because Riga Booty obviously is in League 2 now. God, one day. One day, maybe. Start saving two different saves. This is why I always use um, rolling save, rolling auto save, just in case of things like that. League 1 might be... Ah, so that's probably what it is, actually, because I didn't load the English League's players. I just loaded the league that Riga Booty was in, basically. Hello, Mike. I was telling chat about how you shook me violently in the pub yesterday. Raphael and Dong. Oh, actually. Raphael and Dong, anybody? 
24 year old Senegalese centre back, 11 headings, 16 marking, 14 tackling, 14 jumping reach. Good composure, likes big matches. He is him. Now, his contract's up in six months, so we, we, we can sign him immediately. Regular starter. He's going to want a bit more money. But he's actually worth it for me. I reckon we take a risk and try and big up this team. Because we, if we can stack this team out with these guys, we won't have to worry about loans so much next season. Get the relegation release clause in. Lock the contract length so that way that stays locked in. And just see what he wants. 700 pound a week what it's weird that they want more money for for more security which is strange to me that's does he have caps youth caps but he is also really good and i feel like he would the maximum i can offer is 1.1 and i would not do that i could do a goal bonus for him like 10 gotta be careful though if I could just get it down to 700. 700 is okay. Spike it, I don't know what that is. I'd do 700 because I think he is a genuinely excellent player. Dick and Dong. <laughs> Good. Is he left sided centre back? Oh, he's on the right side. And Sayang is not. We are going to have to move a little bit more of this budget over, I think. Oh, sh oh no, I can't at the moment, can I? It will let me when I... I can adjust the budgets. Right, so Darbo's now back. Except he's not back. I hate the fact that the game tells you the player has now returned when they literally haven't. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't listened to that. Uh, right, what's up now? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Once the window opens, we can sort all that. So Gomez is going on trial. Diop is signing. We're getting Ghibli. Ghibli? Jibby. But he won't sign us until the summer. So that's actually... F oh, oh no, that's him. <laughs> Let's get the shit out of me there. Yeah, he's not that good, but that's fine. We want him for other teams. Him, on the other hand, can I buy him now? No, I can't. Attempt to start learning English before arriving. Are you telling me that that was an option all along and I didn't have to pay 30 grand? I usually do three-week trials, actually. Oh, we have, and it was an E-rated youth intake. An update command. Uh, no, we don't. Um, first season, came fourth, missed out on Europe because the team that wasn't in Europe won the cup. And then obviously the situation, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just funny that that's better. So that means it would actually be better for us to sign pre-contracts on players. <laughs> rather than trying to sign them normally. Um, Jimmy D, I mean, the two million pound release clause is crazy. I mean, good up for him. Is this the opener? You yes, mean, it is! Like, uh, that's what they came just like saying see. random things, bro. Like, come on. Flow thank Don't you very ever, much for... for any reason, do anything to anyone for any reason, ever, no matter what, no matter where, or who or who you are with, or where are going, or where you've uh. been, ever, for any reason whatsoever. I was waiting for more. And thank you for that PC, sorry, Police Constable PC. No. <laughs> police Constable PC. You know him. Oh. Thank you very much for the palace. Really kind of you, man. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait on him. But still, that's a signing for the summer sorted straight off the bat. So that's one less midfielder. We don't have to worry about Esselink or Molinar for next year because 15 passing. Police Constable Pizza Club. You heard it first. Police Constable PC. <gasps> Is Yaya Banana in this save? We had a guy on the other save we did called uh, Phil Lemon Banana. I was worried about the game for a second there, but I realized it's the one day a year when it would actually uh, start to... S I almost said start to slag. Start to lag a little bit. Yaya Banana is, there he is, director of football, unemployed, and I can see why. He's awful. I suppose got some of those players back now. I suppose from suspensions they might do, right? But not the injuries. How bad was the injury to Van der Ven? £2,000 in the bank. Ah, could we earn some money like this? Top half finish, what does that get us? Fuck all, but... I'm not going to risk the Conference League one because it doesn't add much in wage budget, but I feel like top half finish is safe and it would give us an extra £500 in wage budget. Which does just cover us off a little bit. Oh yeah, we can do Darbo now. Oh, so Samuel Rios has joined us. I can't believe... Oh no! Matt, stop it! I nearly did it again, chat. 
I nearly did it again. Player recommendations. What do you mean? Fiona! <sighs> okay, calm it down. I didn't do it, chat. It's fine. I didn't do it. Mr. Nighty, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the window opens email. True. Yep. So I was with Aldi Jumsey. Yeah, good point. Always oh, Annie's um on a trial. Lovely news. Sorry, my bad. I I, I got confused. Uh, Mansour Mbai, which is going to be great for when we inevitably sell him one day. 22. All right. These guys look all right. Like, these guys actually look doable. And then another Cissé. That's an Why are they always strikers? Who you wanted by a beer car? Of course you fucking are. All right. It's not bad. It's nice to bring in. Oh, we didn't get an affiliate at all. Uh, welcome in, my friends. Thank you very much for the raid, Clay. How's things with Newcastle? Um, what was I was about to show you. What was that player's name that we found earlier? And I've actually completely forgotten already. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, cra crab people. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing I can say aloud? <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're well. And Dong, there wasn't Dong. We nearly had Dick and Dong in the bungalow, if that helps. We have one in the main email. Oh, do we? Is it going to be for loads of money, though? Oh, no, we are. We're apparently after... He's, again, he is... You have Neymar and Messi. Dare I ask what that's costing you? Or is it going to be like weird FM money where it's actually like really cheap for some reason because they've just decided to take a lower squad status? No. <laughs> One of these don't ask situations. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, they actually still want Malish. If I actually... Are they seriously going to bid on him? 475. I mean, you know what? I've heard worse. It could have been worse. Maybe. Actually, that's quite surprising, considering that he would have had to have gone down from money, right? That sentence didn't make any sense, I realise. I nearly did it again, chat. You know what, right? He's maybe not as good as we thought, but it's a free signing that bolsters our midfield. We'll obviously have to train him to play slightly deeper. Uh, I really need to take control of the training there. Wait, no, I want uh, playing position. Wait. Midfield centre... I'll just train like that. Um, I didn't even press it, did I? Right, try again. Let's Salah, support. And, uh, oh, it's because he's in the under-23s. Right. Let me just move him up. Because he's definitely a first-teamer for us. Yeah, then there's money to be made there. The bonuses. Ah, is that how you um managed to convince them to happen? Just million pounds a week in appearance fees. We have indeed, Guardian. Yeah, at uh, sad times. Okay, so some Rios... And then we've got to deal with all these outwardly people. Like for one of them, in fact, Gideon. So if I now offer him out for a loan, see if we can get a loan done. Yeah, we'll get him done first. Yeah, Selly's annoyed with me because he's not been playing, but, you know, swivel on it, innit? Uh, right, so Darbo is the other one. Where is he? He's still considered quite good. He's just not as good as the others, right? He's listed, he's wanted by... No, 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 don't you dare... Don't even think about it. Right, market interest. One of what offers for a round is it... You're not being helpful here. You are not being helpful. <laughs> I believe I can bring to the table one or more offers of a round zero. I see. Uh, tell me more. Also, a round zero. If it's lower than zero, I'm impressed. Uh, you see this? I quit. Christ. I open my own... Hotel. Fuck it, we'll invite them in. So, jean Bertie is a weird one because he joined us, immediately got injured, then fell out of the team because of the injury. Then he came back in and took a little while to keep... Um, to get any kind of football. He's been okay for us. So far. Not a worldie, but he is a permanent signing, which is the main thing. The other two are both lone strikers, so it doesn't really work as well. Okay, so next stage is we now hire an intermediary. Cool. There is interest in the player, but no interested clubs can pre can present a valid bid. What the fuck does that mean? All right, I guess we're doing that. <laughs> yeah, we're taking it, but you've got to pay us. Exactly. Uh, Henry MPH, thank you for the follow. We're already here by one second, so we're not missing much then, right? What's the save? So, yeah, sorry, I realise that obviously those of you have just joined us. But what oh, we're yes, doing very soon. is we are managing yeah, Malta for a start, now. but we're trying to make the Maltese League the best league in Europe, essentially. And yes, it's difficult, and yes, it's going to take a long time, but that is what we're doing. It's uh, 
it's going to be a fun old time. But for the moment, we're just trying to make ourselves good because that's difficult enough as it is. Ben Swansea, thank you for the follow. Right. So that's Darbo sorted. Well, sorted. Temporarily. I don't think there's anything else I can tick there. Is there? I suppose I could offer it. No, no, we'll let that stuff happen first. For the police constable fun. <laughs> police constable fun. Thank you for the 100 bits, Dom. It's very this nice. This save man. is specifically to raise money for police constable fund. Yeah, what I've spent most of today is trying not to waste £30,000 every time a player signs. Because it... Yeah, that's how much a language course costs. And that's like all of our money any time that happens. And I already spent £200,000 on language courses. It's not going well. The ranking at the moment is looking spectacularly bad. Uh, we are currently 44th. And I think we might even be dropping to 45th next season. But obviously, we've not had a chance. We're not there yet. We're not We're not in Europe. So once we get there, things change. They won't change for a while. But give us a chance, right? It's only season two, I suppose. Uh, right. We'll let that stuff happen. And then we'll see. Because we've still got those other signings may or may not be happening as well. Because we... Oh, shit. That's a lot of people. Oh, no. Those are trials. So that's 100... Oh. I'm going to have to bump our wage budget up quite a fair bit there. Yeah, that's going to cover the signing of Ndong and Kata. Oh, Christ. We've got to be careful. Yeah, no, of course. That's, yeah, no, don't worry about linking it. That's a really good video. Multi have it. So, quite a lot. Um, top flight 14, second tier of 16, and then there's actually technically, well, there's an 11 and 12 there because we're just, but this is slightly different to real life because we had to make it to make the database work, basically. Or oh, we might be able to buy them now the window's open. Good point. Now, the question is whether I can afford to, but they might let us have them for free. Uh, let me hide in... Sorry, unhide in active deals just to see if this will work. But Malta... Mal the top four in Malta is quite high in prize money because of the way the state base is set up because we noticed a lot of the teams are spending a shitload of money when they got into Europe. So the prize money is pretty good. If we were to get top four... Oh, I say that. It's, it's 500k. It, you see it drops off quite quickly. But 500k would be fine. It's one, that would be a good amount for us. That would get us out of the little hole we've kind of dug for ourselves right now. Anywhere to get copyright free music that doesn't cost an arm or a leg. Uh, so I use Epidemic Sound, but that's a subscription that I don't pay for because it's paid for by my YouTube network. So I don't actually know how much that costs on a monthly basis. But there are plenty of places. Um, Stream Beats, for example, by Harris Heller. That's all free to use, whatever. That's what I'd recommend. Basically. Running stuff. Up. Yeah, I figure that's the case. And I think that's going to be the case this season too. Because we can't even hang with them, really. That they're a lot better than us. Shit, what was I doing before we... Ah, yes. Trying to see if I can buy him. We can. Nah, I'm not paying 45 grand for him. Like, we don't really have 45 grand to splash on him at the moment. That's unfortunate that they'd want 45 grand for a player whose contract is... That's kind of shit, actually. True, if we beat Zabar, it could happen. Right, so these are all trials. Still got to get through the Mars Ashlock game first. Okay, he looks all right. So does he. We'll let them settle in for a bit first. Oh, we're getting Cater as well. That's pleasing. Cool. Yeah, we'll wait till they... Let's see what they want for Cater. 7k. Is it worth paying £7,000? And then just taking the risk that we'll beat Zabar in the cup and it will pay for it. Fuck it. He's going to score us the... Oh, you broke your club's record transfer fee. Yeah, I should not have put us in debt doing that. <laughs> I should not have done that. Charlie Cresswell from Mostar. I do not know who that is. But if he's good, then he's good, right? So Kata's set to sign for us. That's fine. So we signed him. <laughs> Matt, stop it. I nearly did it again. That is such a, like... I nearly, did, I nearly did it twice then. So Issa Kata is in. He's very good. And he can play on the right side as a winger and the left side as an inverted winger, which is what we want. Like, he's a really nice wide player for us. That's going to strengthen us. He'll make his money back. Agumang, yeah, I feel like... I feel for you, but I do. Um, but you're not as good as him. <sighs> Literally, yeah, the fact that they're not... I, the fact that there's two clicks as soon as someone can you're sinking this club <laughs> this is why the prize money needed to be so high Hadrian didn't even think about this factor I mean Angerman was good first season but oh yes very soon they are building I think... it now Look, so about playing oh no it absolutely is bud 
Um, more value. Well, leave it at this point. That's fine, buddy. <laughs> that was the outcome I was looking for. Uh, let's ask his agent first. 80, if we get 80 grand for Charles Aguimang, that would literally allow us to buy the other dude. Can you reset the... I Not without resetting all of the other ones. Uh, what I might do is get Saz to make a special version of the skin that just removes that box. <laughs> oh yeah, loan to buy would be shit. Although, if it gets his wages out of the way, fuck it. And then we'll also hire... An, see if there's any intermediaries that have any... Okay. Also, all those intermediaries, um, are they going to actually help us with the Darbo thing yet? Because I don't feel like that's actually come back yet. And if we get some money... Right. Okay, here we go. There's definitely some stuff happening up there. Must Ashlock want Larry? Wait, you're actually going to pay me? They're going to pay his wages. Then we could just bring in another right back. But then do we want to sell... Do we want to loan both Larry and Gideon? Then again, has anyone actually bid on Gideon? No. No, I kind of want to keep Larry. Nations FC. I hate the fact that they're always optional fees, but they are going to pay us fucking nothing. But they're going to pay his wages. I hate the fact that you can't even negotiate and be like, hey, look, maybe we should do a fucking... Oh, and then Darbo's just going to go Lincoln Red Imps. Yeah, I hate that they're optional, though. I hate that you can't even negotiate its optionality and say, hey, look, we'll do this, but only if it's a mandatory fee. So we're signing Raphael and Dong, who's very good. Right, buy now. He's going to be much more expensive, isn't he, to buy now? 24 grand. Yeah, we can't afford that right now. Not with a five grand debt hole. Okay. The cup game is super important. Yeah, the thing is, I bet you... If we try to sell him to Link and Red Imps when that pops up, I bet you they just decline it. I can't sell Darbo. He's literally under... Like, I've tried to offer him out. No one is bidding on him other than... So no stands... Okay, that's fine. So we're not losing Gideon. Like, with that whole buy now... You can do the sell now thing as well, but they almost always turn it down, I've noticed. But maybe we'll get... Maybe it's different enough in 24, hey? We'll see. So I this should be a straightforward one for us, but lately we've not looked straightforward at all. Uh, Sipsa and Thrail. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow. Selkasar, how dare you suggest such a thing? Although we do have to remember to play him in that cup game. Right. I'll keep Traore in, honestly. And I'm going to keep Jean in, too. Because they're not complaining about the lack of football for those guys. Right, Cater's in on the right. Kone on the left. I like that wide area. That looks... This team looks better in... The, I feel like one of our weaknesses going into this season was the wide area. Are you just going to say random things again, bro? Like, we have kind of discussed this and it just feels like you're just being a little bit sort of... I don't know. You don't need to just constantly feel the need to spam random stuff in chat. I promise it's going to be okay. Like, we're still here. The stream is still working just fine. Ah, oh dear. Exactly. We can't sell him. We're going to name a stadium after him one day. Ask the Doff for loans. Well, I don't really want any more loans. I'm trying to get us a, a rid of loans at this point. Not rid of them so much as, like, bring them down in terms of their value to our squad. Like, noticing now with the likes of Cater in there and Kone, that's a bit better. Butu's a... Sorry, Botue is a full registered player for us. And that's what we kind of be wanting to go into next season with, like, a few... Oh, my apologies. Yeah. How many has to be loans? Yeah, we just literally asked our Doff for them. Sorry. Curse me for not reading up the chat. Uh, Squad number. Oh, yeah, that's going to be for Cater, isn't it? They're all going to want that number, aren't they? Doff and a contract soon. Maybe. But truthfully, we don't have any money. So even if we found someone, it wouldn't make any difference. Because we have... Once we've got those other players signed up, there's basically no money left for us at this point. Oh, well, that seemed to work a lot better. Hello. Just go out and have some fun work. Well, I'll be damned. I wasn't expecting that. Usually that one was... The, last year, they'd give me horrendous looks if I said that. There is a lot of Foreigner in Boston on this playlist, yeah. It's my dad's music taste slinking in. Yeah, if we actually were able to sell Darbo, which I really don't think was going to happen, like he'll agree the contract with Lincoln Red Imps and they'll just sit on him and wait. Great tackle. Uh, so we are just entering January, uh, Punkasan. Yeah, they won't be scouted either and we won't be able to scout them. So 
what we're doing right now, I think we've assembled quite a good squad now with these little additions. Like, if Undong an, joins us in the summer, even if he doesn't join us... Oh, good save. If he joins us in the summer, that's a nice centre-back pairing we can have with Kamara and Undong. It means if Walo won't come back for another loan, it's not the end of the world. We've got wingers that look better. We've got a really solid striker in Jean, who I think next year will hopefully flourish a bit more. And we can always bring someone else in alongside him as a loanee, maybe. The midfield, we've got guys joining us, including Jibby. Uh, Rejka's in. It's a good save. It's not too bad. Sell now for... Get rid of the ages. True. I've actually tried to offer a player to a club for zero there, and they've still said no, weirdly. Well, at least this is the Maltese Premier Division. During halfway through the season. Uh, yes, it's a it's a winter league the same way as most other European leagues. So yeah, that's one of the benefits, actually. Particularly as the fixtures really kind of thin out after Christmas as well, which allows us... This is going to be really useful when it comes to European football because we're going to have way less fixture congestion by getting it all down. I mean, the first half of the season is going to be hectic as all hell. But even so, we still rarely ever have midweek games in the first half of the season. What season... Hang on, did you just ask what country the Maltese top flight is in? I mean... Uh, too fair? Like... <laughs> also, didn't I just say it was Malta? But regardless, yeah. Uh, league path setup, SPL set. Is that just because there's so many games? Ah, don't worry, man. <laughs> that just took me by surprise for a second. This is better from us. But the fact that we've not scored in like two and a half games nearly out of nowhere is concerning. Samassi, right, here we go. Kone, nope. Dick's there. Can he get the header at least? Right, Molinar. Good. Pops it through. Caters. Oh! Ma there we go. The hero you need. Lucas Marza. Big goal. Did you just dab there? Yeah, 36... That's a lot of games, actually, for Scotland. That's one of the things that um, Ireland was quite tough with that, too, because it was a 36-game season, if I recall. That was a pretty toughie, too. We just, and we ended up playing like four games a week some weeks when we were in like European football. What's Matt's name again? Uh, it's actually uh, James. Thank you very much. How dare you? We've not even played that well in this game. We are just entering a little bit of a slump. But that's fine. We just need that one lucky win to pull ourselves out of it and it'll all be dandy. The turn down. <laughs> uh, hang on. This is the second season... Which YouTube video are you referring to? Oh, Christ. Uh, but yes, it's the second season, so we've signed players, as we did in the first season. The VOD. Oh, uh, well, hang on, which VOD? Sorry, I'm a bit... Um, we have actually picked up a couple of guys today. Yeah, we got um, Kater, who's just joined us, and I thought we'd given a penalty there. And Kone, those two have just joined us today. We're just doing a little bit of shopping for next season, potentially, just to set ourselves up. Be third yellow card? Probably not, no. Because that's not my name. <laughs> yeah, the Irish fixtures really was what screwed us a lot of the time. The, the Particularly once you get into, like, latter stages of Europe and stuff. Although, actually, it was the summer ones that would sometimes be a real pain in the tits. Because you'd have, like, four matches in a week. Like, you'd have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday some weeks. It was crazy. Okay. Thank you very much for the eight months. I hope you're well today. Win. Title mm, Probably not. Uh, we thought about it, but it seems that we're just simply not good enough to stay with them for long enough. You know, this is always a goal if the highlight goes on for a while. I, not always, but it does seem to be a trend, yeah. Which I'm fine with, right? Yeah, we barely really... We've picked up a couple of guys. We've done a bit of... Not scouting so much as they've been brought to us, but that's fine. Yeah, we've not played well at all today. I'm actually kind of extremely thankful that we're even winning this match, because... This might be what we need to just... Could you do a transfer Roma career? Yeah, of course you could. Um, anyone can. I won't be, but anyone can. Uh, we will take Dick off. Um, I, I'm never going to get tired of saying that sentence. John Malicki, yeah, he's a regen, a Maltese regen who is, well, gopping, I think. It's because we're still lacking a bit of strikers there. Molnar struggled a bit too, but S-Link's not really great. Yeah. Could you do one one day? Um, again, you could. I'm not going to. I have no reason to do one. 
I have no interest in doing one. It would be not particularly interesting content for me. Four Do they really? One of my favorite things about managing in Ireland was the um, All-Ireland Cup match, like the Super Cup between the winners of the Northern Irish League and the Republic of Irish League. But the best part is the game counts it as a European... Fuck. The game counts it as a European competition, which means if you get a booking in that game or suspended, you then miss Champions League football because of it, which is a wonderful thing we found out. Oh. And now we're not winning. And to be fair, I can't even be mad. Like... We've not been on it in this game either. We don't. We didn't deserve the win, were we, to get it at that point? Uh, into Nordic Cup. That would be dope, actually. Yeah, you just got a good... Oh, no, don't fuck this up. Right. Oh, right. Come on, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Right. We really have, like, ever since that random draw, we've not really looked the same team. We do need to get us... And then the 3-0 defeat. We've only managed to grab one goal today. We're just not as uh, free-flowing as we have been in the first sort of part of the season. So I tell we just need like a lucky win, exactly truthfully, to get that morale up again so we can continue to, to go. Right, here we go. Right, Paul, slip into the channel. Oh, it's a... Actually, he's somehow going to catch this. Please, square it. Jean's in. Just square it. Please. Grineo! It wasn't even John, it was Grineo. Mecky, thank you for the follow. Ah, that was a brilliant chance and we've bottled it again. Right, Cater at the back post. He's never going to... Oh, he has. We've sort of woken up in the last 10 minutes of the game, but it's it's not going to be... But they're not, like, really good quality chances. Yeah, there was the Iron Brew Cup. That was... Didn't that allow teams from other nations in? Like, other British nations, if I recall. Right, Salis in again. Molina. These little subs do seem to have rejuvenated us a little bit. That's a dreadful pass. It's just gone in between everybody. I reckon a random Master Slock winner isn't actually off the cards here. If we somehow bottled a lead in this one... And then also lost. That would be truly awful. And I think that's what's about to happen, isn't it? It's deflected through. Could you do a siren save? Oh, I might think about it, Still, Still Papa. You never know. As we're now going to lose against Master Slock. And again, it's the guy that nearly joined us and chose to join the mystic. What is this? How does that not get blocked by someone in amongst all that? But at least they had fun playing. Ah, oh. yeah, title's gone. <laughs> Title is uh, firmly gone. We're still a bit hard done by, honestly. Oh, God, at least get an equaliser then. I can't believe we're going to lose to these guys. It's about the taking part and very much... Oh, that, this game has been, believe me, this is... Of all the games that have existed, this one has been taken part in. Whew. The friends were stolen along the way. Kate, okay, that's a dreadful pass again. Maybe some of the new players have not quite bed into the team yet. Ah. Oh. Well, they're not... I mean, they're still going to be complacent because they'll always find a way to do that. I reckon they get a third goal here. What a tackle. What a... Oh, my God. I love the diving headers so much. Ah, oh, great. And now... Yeah. Do you remember, chat, have you noticed how all of this has started happening ever since I said, telling you, title race is on. Literally, from the moment those words spewed and waterfalled out of my mouth, this is what we're dealing with. Ah. Uh, how dare you be devastated, you... Good lord. So what does that do to the league now? Yeah. Uh, we're four points off the top, and they've got a game in hand. And Bicca Carra could go level on points with us. And we're still only five points above Valletta now. We just need to play someone absolutely gopping. Oh, not this shit again. I'm so... Uh, that is actually boring, to be fair. Th those silly ones with the... Fine, whatever. That's super annoying, though. Ah, uh, Right. Hammer and are probably going to run away with this. It's just as long as we stay in the battle and get ourselves... Because the fact is... Third... Sorry, second through fourth don't really matter. Although... I don't want to come fourth, just in case there's more cup horrendousness. We do want to make sure that we get at least fourth, uh, at least third. Do you? Well, you get European football for uh, so no god words, unfortunately. Third or higher is what we want. Fourth will get you Europe unless someone wins the cup that isn't already in Europe, and we need to make sure that we do well with that. Valletta draw, which I think had already happened actually, hadn't it? Hamron lost. Hamron lost to Floriana. Of all fucking people, Hamron just lost to Floriana. It's still on. I'm telling you. 
To be fair, he was one of our better players. But yeah, it is annoying when like we clearly lost when we were winning and he's a defender. Ah, much better. Okay. This is not uh it's not beyond us now. This is where we, we use this, although we do have a cup game next. Right. Why would I pay you an intermediary fee to get to earn me no would you like five percent of nothing? Oh, so if he watch him join Sleema now, and right, so Agamang is going on loan, which is going to save us a bit of wage budget, and he's not going to play anyway. Uh, does that matter to us? Not really. Although it would be nice if Bicky Kara could not win. That would just give us a bit more breathing space. So Charles has gone on loan at least, and they've won, and Hibernians have won as well. Okay, so now we're lit. Wow, remember when I was like, hey, look, everyone's like seven points clear, and now we're not. Right, yes, Andrea for the cup. Which should be okay. Oh, I don't know. About, well, we've got no choice, have we? We don't want to upset Andrea because we need to keep him at the club as long as possible. They are paying his wages, yeah. Which is going to help us keep that a bit more stable. But 20,000 20, in debt now. We need this win. We need to win this cup game. Because that would wipe out the debt. 75. Yeah, that would be huge. Coaching badges. Well, we can't because he's not a coach. And... We'll hopefully be able to get him them when he is, but he hasn't set his sights on retirement or anything like that. So Master Slocker through. I took out of bed for anything less than 25% or nothing. Oh, that's good news. So that's our next set of TV matches. It's only five between now and the rest of the season, though. So it's another 120k we'll get from those. I was hoping for a few more, but it'll do. It's more money that will come in. Obviously, we'll lose a lot of it, but okay. 700 pounds away. Oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do whatever this is first. And then I want Andrea Kassar in the team. Hamadi and Kater. I can't not... We can't start Larry. We know what will happen if we start Larry. He has to at least play. I'm also going to put Esselink on that side like that. Dick will stay in the team. Kamara, Marza and Grineo. That's all good. Cool. So Kassar's in. That's all tasty. I'm going to pee. Panache is probably going to do some silliness. But luckily, you've got yourself another whiz quiz, Chateau. Back in a second. We'll probably make this the last game of the stream just because of the other stuff going on. But that's fine. This will at least know where we're sat, right? Back in a second. That's right. It's Jay Demerit. Ah, get all of them on the board. No. Did I make that too easy? Wait. Wow, people were just straight on that one. Yeah. To be fair, the one earlier was a little bit tougher. This is just a little quick me today. I didn't have to go grab myself a Bepis this time. Right. Let's. This match is actually. It's weird how this match actually feels more important than the fucking one against Hamrun. Who's getting the squad number this time? Oh, Samuel. I forgot about him. Let's go. Huge money on the line if we get this result. 
Just to see if they've got any, any kind of randos on the bench there that might be quite good as well. Okay. Why are you complacent? The match has not started yet, you bell pieces. Right, okay. Let's try and have fun. That worked. Oh, I can't say that this time. I love how I can only tell certain... I can't tell the midfielders to have fun. Hello, Bog. How's it going? Right. Massive. At least we're at home. Like, we need these... Like, three games without a win. The last thing we need is another one is going out of the cup here. Because the money that... the money, If we get the money for the cup, it'll be good. And we can then use that, set the squad up in January, and kind of get back into the top four. Hunters Esselink has hit the bar. Oh, we're about to get RDF'd in the face, aren't we? <laughs> Midfield... Middle fun is very illegal, it's true. Hope you enjoyed helping Mike with his pants yesterday. I should have showed you my giraffes there, chat. I'm actually wearing them. Pog, you're proud. I'm wearing my giraffe pants today. Yeah, it will cover us in case I accidentally send someone a language course. <laughs> That's true. Mike now knows extra stuff about brass. Because Pog went around summers while, Pog, while Mike and I were um, busy sniffing things in Lush. Oh, God. Panache's just robbed us here. He's going all the way through. There's three of you and... Oh. See, I, honestly, I wish we could sign someone like Panache. It's so annoying that Zabar got in there before us because he would have been the perfect striker for us, truthfully. He's so good in this match engine. Exactly. We thought it'd be best if we did that on our own time. <laughs> right, that's fine. He's into the channel. Zabar play quite a high pressing system, which means we might, if we get lucky, be able to play through them a little bit. Like, Except if we could maybe actually hit a pass with the correct amount of power. Good save again from Andrea Casar. <laughs> Watch Kasabi what costs us this uh, game somehow. He'll fumble one into the net or something. Good clearance again. Gradillo's got a bit of speed. We've got a lot of ball against them, at least. Which hopefully should be allow us to should allow us to eventually, over the course of the 90 minutes, just grind out chances to score. Yeah, we are going to press Panache because he's very good. So the player to Mars room behind. Interesting. What instruction is that? I, for, I don't think I've got the version of the game that has the player to Mars room behind instruction. Also, if he's not in behind, there's no point in playing it there. Right, here we go. Grinio. Ah, that's poor. Hey, Stewie. Um, it's actually, we've entered a bit of a, a slump in our form. Oh, he's going to... Oh, Grinio. Grinio. Esselink. Yes. Get in. Sem Esselink. 1-0 Sirens. Basically, Stewie, we've not won in three games, uh, which is a lot for us. And we've been playing absolute crap. We were top of the league and flying. And now we are not top of the league and struggling to stay in second. Yeah, the Grand Arcade was horrendous, but um, we, we were parked in the graft and not the Grand Arcade. Grand Arcade would have been even worse. But we do lead. Get in. That's a good start. Right, Cater's clapping the fans right as he takes the corner. It's brave. Get in. Julian Boalo makes it 2-0 sirens. That's massive. A two-goal advantage. What is he doing? Is he just, like, clapping like that? Lovely news. Well, thing is, Inferno, we couldn't, um, couldn't park at the Queen Anne. It was full. Had no choice. 2-0 up. Dualo with a goal. Not Dualo. Bualo. More like Bualingo. Okay. We've not played very well, but if we just get a random cup win, we'll get the money, we'll have the morale from the cup win, and everything will be okay. Flicked away. Holy shit. I thought Bualo was going to gra grab another one there. Something like goals guaranteed. I don't think it's a visual glitch. It's just players will randomly um, just do those animations a lot. It's funny in penalty shootouts because before every penalty, the players will both do like a random animation and it could be all sorts of things. One day I'm hoping it gets mixed up with the goal celebrations and they'll start like doing the Russian, uh, like the Irish jig or something. Winnie the Pooh. There you go. Pog bought herself a brand new Winnie the Pooh jumper yesterday in Prime Arche, which she was very happy with. Okay, this is better. This this is much more like it from us. We've been stable. I'm almost worried about making any subs just in case the usual substitution curse happens. Where we just suddenly start hemorrhaging chances the moment we make any minor tweak. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. Just He's going nowhere. That's fine. <sighs> Kazone gets one back for Zabar. This is the last thing we needed because now... Now it's suddenly on the line. I mean, at least we didn't commit a foul there. But he was just able to ghost in behind Dick there. Look, Dick gets pulled so far into the centre. I mean, that's actually not bad. But, like, this guy, they're sort of all... Actually, if anything, that's on him for not tracking his runner. 
Okay. Now I feel like I might be safe to, uh... One okay is rock bottom... I... I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a... S we are getting a little wee battering starting to a bit. We'll get Kone on, on the left, for a little bit. Oh, Christ. No, I can't bring Larry on as, as tired as he is. I just can't bring Larry into this game. It's the last thing we need. Right. Might have to switch it over to a bit of uh, time-wasting soon. Sally said... Oh, no! With the, the literal, the guy I just subbed on. Right, Jean's gonna have to come on left side. Great. Fuck it, we're bringing Larry on too. I think the tiredness of Cissé is losing it. New signing comes off the bench, immediately injured. I might start slowing it down a little bit. Slow top right now. I mean, part of me wonders if maybe things would be going better if I was. Tarshi knocking Valletta out is, is good and not good. Good in the sense that if we could play them in the next round, that'd be ideal. Oh, hang on. Hamadi, square it. Come on. Yes, Granillo! Yes! Get in. 12 minutes to go. Rodrigo Granillo into double figures. Really nice work from from Hamadi. But that was just a really nice run. When, like, I think it was Sally Sen. When he, on a, was that Larry? No, when he looks up here, he just makes this little darting run behind the fullback. First time ball as well. Granillo, bang. That should hopefully do it. Do you know if there's a train? Like, we've been the better side. This has been oh, a really yeah, strong performance. Sure. Just had that little blip. Yeah, building it now. It's much more like the team I'm used to us being today. Uh, we'll get Esselink off for Molinar as well, just to keep that nice and sorted but that should be enough for us to see out this win and get through get the money which is the most important factor um duke of yoggington good name yeah a little pre-assist a little hockey assist for lazzle okay good lovely news hey ollie right good really actually it's a really strong performance in the end it just took a little while to get going those two quick fire goals we were worried for a second i'm a bit concerned about that injury to kone though because like the whole point of him was so that he could be useful for us and that is anything but so any surprises yeah Tarshi knock out Valletta Bowser scrape through as does Slima hammer and get well not an easy draw see you later on football right oh thank fuck for that massive oh that's really not ideal oh at least he's not the guy that can play on both sides okay that's made our finances look a little bit better now because we don't have many TV games. Did Nashar beat Marsa? Ooh. Hang on. Didn't we just discuss this? I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to keep bullshitting him. I don't know if it's a troll. I think they were just... Maybe... Quite young. And... I like to try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But... Sometimes it was a little bit great. I think it's important that... We try to be like give people the benefit of the doubt in every situation. I feel like it's just important because they'll probably see this on the VOD. And maybe it's just like uh, an awkwardness in how to interact perhaps. And, I, and that's what I'm putting it down to. But I did try to sort of, you know, um, what's the word? Corral, I guess. Right. Sorry. Do you know what, Bismarck, buddy? We'll ask Dick to resolve because one day Dick will resolve all, all the world's woes. But today is not that day, chat. Uh, lower squads. Oh, okay. With those ones, it's actually fine because either they take the lower squad status or I uh, I just yeet them into the sun. So it's all good. Oh, Christ. I'm, just as well we won that. Uh, ah, I, I'm trying to be better at that, Basil, right? Because I don't, I don't want to be that guy that's just, you know, I try to understand that everyone has their own circumstances and interacts in different ways. And I like to try to just, you know, I'm doing my best as always because we're all just kind of doing our best, right? Yeah, Bismarck's contract's up anyway, so that's not the end of the world. That's that's really good, because that keeps the ball off of our back, which is nice. Finances look much better. Uh, 58 in the... We're finally back into the actual pluses and finances again. 58,000 is good, because I haven't spent any money on language courses. Now, obviously, that will allow us to maybe... I don't feel like we need Diop this season. I feel like we do, however, need Ndong. And I'm willing to pay the £22,000 to make it happen. Because I feel like the centre-back pairing is probably more important to have now than the midfield. Because the midfielders, we've got a lot of them. Whereas Ndong's 22. I'd pay... I'd pay 22. 
Injury prone. Is he? But how much? Like, that's only orange. Like, also, we're in the Maltese league, you know? Uh, do you use a copybook for FM? I'm not sure what that means. Um, but I'd love to know, but I don't know what a copybook is for FM. Right, so we've paid some money there, but now we have a dong. Ignoring the stars for a second, I think he's just a genuinely really good player, and now we can try and get an offer for Malish. Does have some interest from elsewhere. Need to raise funds. Well, we knew that. <laughs> Don't press it. Wait, what did I press? Oh, I didn't, did I? Oh, we're fine. As a fit Oh, no, I don't... Well, what would I write? But no, I don't. Um, because we'll ask Dick to welcome Dong. <laughs> what a sentence. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good news. Right, just... You've asked Dick if you... <laughs> Dick and Dong in the club. Good news. Hey, Mando. Um, right. So now back to Malish. Yeah, I'll do it off of a Dong. And then we'll try and offer a... Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, 2% for... Wait. So hang on. You take longer to get the fee through, but it's a smaller fee and it's more money. Yeah, all right. I think, Alex, we're going with you. Literally, a single language course is more expensive than him. Yeah, precisely. Pepito, thank you for the follow. Right, let's see if we can get that out. Matter permanently. Um, we haven't tried that yet, I don't think, anyway. I don't think his contract's... Oh, it is, isn't it? Is this one of these weird situations where I can't sign him because he's on loan? Yeah, I don't think we can do much about that right now. Let's just try and deal with this... Uh outgoing. If we could get a deal for Malish. Oh, yeah. If he's got no interest, there was nothing we could do about it. We kind of figured that'd be the case, but Granillo might. Nah. Neither of them are interested in any way, which makes sense, right? It might have some rules about it. It might just be because they're on loan to us at the moment. I find that the game can be weird about it when the players are on loan. Um, what are we supposed to have? Or is that tomorrow? Right. Who can we get? Oh, no. Oh, well. It was a good run. Uh, we're not getting past Hamrun in the quarterfinals, unless we pull off an absolute miracle. Uh, we're going to have to make that money last the rest of the season. So what's the other one, then? As if Tarshin and Mgar got there's two fucking second-tier sides in. Yeah, we met the expectations. I'm a little bit worried, though, that the only team amongst all of these that are even close to Europe is Hamrun. Other than us, obviously. So if they knock us out, it's them against the others. And I feel like they'd be strong enough to beat them, but you just never know. Wait, they're, they're third tier. Fair play. Yeah, at least we haven't lost to a third tier side. Yeah, basically, whoever wins this tie needs to win the damn thing. Ugh. Right. When's this uh, offer coming? Is it this afternoon? So hang on. These guys. They've got two star reputation. You know what? Fair enough. Can't even blame them. Dunkirk with an offer for Malish of £61,000. I think we take that, right? Sixty-one grand for Malish. I know he's got a release clause of four hundred grand, but we're not going to get that kind of money. But a nice little uh, 61k, that will put us in a, n a really nice position financially. 100k in the bank. We can have a little bit of a look around. Obviously, we don't want to move too much more money over to the wage because you can see how much we're already down. And we've still got another £400 a week there. So I actually, next summer, it's going to be more like that. Just to cover that off. That's a bit more like, yeah, we lose a little bit. I assume I have to press continue, right? And he's off the wage bill. True, yes. Also, why was I looking in there as if the money would somehow be in our account when all I've done is accept the offer? What was I expecting to happen there? <laughs> Just instantly. Yeah, literally, we've got a better centre-back. And I liked Malish. He was good for us. Oh, watch him rejected. That would be funny as fuck. And Ndong, I think he's a gen... Like, his attributes are really good. And that's all we really care about at this stage. He has fantastic attributes for the role. Even if the star rating is weirdly low. Um, I say that. It's still three star. But, like... That 11 heading is not amazing, but they're still pretty good for this level. And 14 jumping reach. 16 marking is fantastic. Great positioning, too. Help me with the save. Um, I'm not sure I really understand what the question is, because those are all different teams, right? Um, I mean, 
Yeah. If you wanted like a random save, then I would suggest uh, exclamation mark perchance would be a way of maybe getting some randomness in your life potentially. To pick you. Yes. Yes. Um, but like I said, exclamation mark perchance might help you out with that one. Right. Okay. Um, since the football's going to be starting soon, we'll just finish a little earlier today. Well, like 10 minutes early. Because we've got the master game and that would take forever. Because this master will end up losing five all. That's right. Losing five all. You heard. Uh, right. We're going to save that there. So we're going to, we'll find out the conclusion of the Malish saga on Tuesday's stream. How many games have we got left to play? Is it going to have to be quite a banger on Tuesday? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so Tuesday's going to be quite a bumper stream because we are going to finish off the season on Tuesday. So that's going to be like an 11-game bang because we've not actually played that many games today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can do that. Right, let me find a lovely, wonderful person whom we can raid. Uh, okay. Who will be streaming this afternoon? Oh. Got to send the old a big gav to... Uh, Sort out the vibes. Right. Can the chat make suggestions? Uh, suggestions to what? Ah. Uh, yeah, I know it's going to be great. I don't even have to do anything off stream, chat. It's a man's dream. <laughs> Let's work the raid. Uh, well, I've already chosen it, so no. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Thank you for joining me today, my friends. Hope you've had a good time. I've had a lovely time myself, personally. And we get to finish off the season on Tuesday. Hopefully go on a cup run, maybe. I don't know. At least qualify for Europe and see if these new guys are going to settle in very, very nicely indeed. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for sticking around. Anyone that came in in any of the raids, if you haven't already dropped a follow, I would suggest you maybe do that. And I'll send you lovely people to Gav. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hold your gun. Capybara. 